welcome to the full replay of Collingwood versus the Kangaroos from Colonial Stadium. Round 13 continues right here on Fox Footy Channel. Tonight we're at Colonial Stadium for what should be an absolute cracker. It's Collingwood up against the Kangaroos. The Magpies, one of the high achievers so far in 2002. The Kangaroos hungry for a spot on that top eight. Robert Walls, good evening. She should be tight and tough tonight at Colonial. Good evening, Stephen. Yes, I think it will be uh, two teams who are desperate to play finals this year. The Kangaroos, you just have to admire them. They won't lie down. And, of course, Kangaroo, uh, the Collingwood side under Mick Malthouse, each year they just take a step further up the ladder. So much at stake tonight. If we have a look at the ladder at the moment, I think it's, all things being equal, Port Adelaide and Brisbane will finish one and two in some order. But look at the logjam between three and ten. Well, there's eight teams there, Stephen, and only a couple of games between them. And, of course, Collingwood with the eight wins and the four losses, the Kangaroos not that far behind but as you say a lot of teams in between so a very very important game particularly for the kangaroos because if they win this one tonight they're on track to play finals footy the magpies eight and four record here they come did the break come at a good time for them i think it came at a perfect time they're a very young team this collingwood outfit and uh, having that week up in the northern territory would have done them the world of good just freshen them up let's go down to jared waitley he's with their coach michael malthouse well thanks quarters mick you thought the break might have come at a good time are the signs here that it has Oh, Jerry, I think we can only answer that really at the end of the game, but I, I think the boys appreciated having a, uh, a few days away, refreshing themselves and their mind, and uh, I guess the test is, as I said, the game, but the, all the indicators are this week they've been pretty good. Chris Tarrant and Anthony Rocker have both got through. Were you expecting to have both of them? Oh, not uh, not not after we walked away from the, the uh, Fremantle game, but as the weeks went on, or the, as, the, as the days went on, we're more and more confident and they've, they've trained very well for a week it's not just the last couple of days so you know we've got a good week's training out of both boys a lot of the talks being nathan buckley and adam simpson do you think that will eventuate and uh would you be happy if it did i'm sure it will shall we look forward to it i'll look forward to it but uh nathan's the sort of like uh, look i've got the greatest admiration for adam simpson and what, what what he's done and how he's done it, gone about it but at the end of the day nathan's been our most consistent player for a number of years and i believe that uh pride alone will um, ensure that he has a good match thanks mick good luck thanks, thanks. as the kangaroos come out on the ground and uh, you've got to take your head off to them robert despite all the adversity they've had this year they continue to provide the goods they do and i, I think you've got to uh, give credit to their leadership group uh, stevens and archer mick martin spider burton they've just been terrific byron pickett included mccartney uh, they've all taken on extra responsibility. We have a look at the line-up there, and you've got the veterans in Martin and Archer on that full-back line. Scotty Cummings back into the... Cummings coming back into the Collingwood team. Colbert at centre-half back. He'll have a huge job playing on Anthony Rocker, and, of course, Tarrant playing for the Magpies. That's important. Midfield, good midfield for the Kangaroos, Stephen Simpson and Robbins. Buckley in the midfield with... Uh, he'll probably play on Well, Simpson. they waste Simpson on Buckley, though. He's having such a fantastic year. It's an interesting one because Adam Simpson has gone up a level or two. Nathan Buckley's been a champion for eight or nine years. We all know that. And Simpson's often played a negating role on him. But uh, I just reckon Simpson could freewheel tonight. Kangaroos half-forward line. Byron Pickett's been kicking plenty of goes. Goals, Morell, strong at centre half forward, cloak across the half back line. We look at the full back line for the Magpies, Prestigiacoma and Wakeland. Either one will get Big Sav Rocker, who's in great form, kicking goals up in Brisbane. Have a look at the on ballers. Spider Burton been magnificent in the ruck. He's just about carried it single handedly. Grant and Harvey great at ground level. McKee and of course Young McGough. Kangaroos bench. Young there, Rawling Smith, Petrie will do ruck work, Baird can play in defence, and Didac Bathurst, O'Brien and Cole. O'Brien starting to run into some terrific form. Kangaroos have got six wins. What might have been with a touch of luck? Well, you have a look at that, and they were great last week. Butte game up there at the Gabba went down by 15 points, and then four, three, and eight points they lost by. They could easily be eight, four, even nine, three. So, uh, you know, they're in pretty good form. We're going to take a break tonight. Two of the AFL's most electrifying players are going head to head. That man, Leon Davis, and the Kangaroos, Byron Pickett. Will they light up Colonial Stadium tonight?
When he talks, people listen and pay attention. I don't vacillate or move one inch from what I said. And here is the chairman of the AFL coming out and saying he wants the president to shut up. Your call's next. They're feral over there. <laughs> You're at for Josh. Kerry, I'd like to know your thoughts. Don't look now. It's my I mother calling up. Can't believe that. That's what's so great about our game. Do you want to weigh into this and help me out here? No, nah, certainly not. After seeing some of those letters you get, I'll stay right out of it. Oh. your home theater and surround sound specialist. The latest technology, time-saving advice, and affordable prices. Harvey Norman has it all. Complete home theater packages, DVD players, top brand name speakers, surround sound receivers with Dolby Digital, and the latest DVD movie titles. Leading brands like Onkyo, Kenwood, Pioneer, Technic, Sony, Mission, AccuSound, US Audio, and JBL, all on display and all on sale now. The total visual and sound experience, available now from your home theater and surround sound specialist, Harvey Norman. Take one city softy. Oh! Put him in the hands of an ex SAS soldier and train him to survive in the wild. He's also making my life hell and he's definitely on my Christmas card list. Lost in the Woods, 8 o'clock Wednesday on Lifestyle. Plaga, Plaga, Plaga! The greatest full forward the game has ever seen. He will be remembered forever. Exclusive to Fox Footy Channel, Tony Lockett takes your calls. That's White Line Fever live Thursday. Saturday night football at Colonial Stadium. For what it's worth, I'm tipping the Magpies by about a kick tonight. That's about it, Michael Christian. Welcome, how be, about you? Yes, yeah, Steve, it's going to be a great game of football. Both sides really have had pretty good seasons, as you mentioned before. The Kangaroos, a couple of very near losses, so uh, looking forward to a great match. As we go down to Jared Waitley for a report on the conditions. Quarters, perfect conditions as always here at Colonial Stadium. The roof is closed. It's a little bit damp underfoot. The roof was open for much of the day, but it will lend itself to high scoring much as it did last night when Essendon defeated Melbourne. Uh, the benches are as named and certainly the Collingwood Army out in force yet again. And the cyber coach question for tonight, is the split round better than a complete week off? A for yes, B for no. Get on the uh, SMS text message 0421 261 0421 261 for the cyber coach question for tonight. We'll update you with that right throughout the evening. Gee, I'm looking forward to tonight. It's going to be uh, really tough. Very evenly matched these two teams. There's Colbert on Anthony Rocker. Just looking at the Collingwood players setting up and they've got a pretty tall forward line down the other end of the ground. You can see that there's uh, Cummings on Martin. Collingwood have got a tall forward line. They will try to stretch the north defence. They're playing Martin and Fraser. And Spider Burton gets the first knock of the night. Straight to Robbins. He kicks it to centre half forward. Kangaroos go to the right of the screen. As you might have guessed, there's Scotland. He's pretty good against Fremantle last time out. Magpies get possession. Cloak at the true centre half back position. Bangs it long. Archer in front of Tarrant. Archer did well. Teague's bowled over by Lockyer. And the umpire will bounce it down. As we see a very quick interchange by the Roos coming on as John Baird. Yes, and Baird will go on to probably play on Josh Fraser. McCartney, you can see McCartney number five in picture on the left. He raced down from the forward line to, to get into the back line to look after Fraser. Collingwood would have got four tall forwards. Burton. Gets it clear, McCartney just scrambles to kick out of the congestion. Chance now for McGough. He's got so much poise for a young player. Kick inside attacking 50, Davis. Can't control it. Well played by the Kangaroo defence, or is it? Comes to Davis, kicks along the ground and misses. In fact, in the end, squeezed it through for a behind. But he is electrifying. Oh, super quick. 
opportunist and uh, he'd normally kick that one, he'd be a little bit disappointed. Another quick change by the Kangaroos, Petri on. There's on the kick out. They had the numbers down the middle there, the Kangaroos, so uh, Makepeace just kicked to a collection of Kangaroos. And Archer was the man as he goes to the wing. There's Rocker, the former Magpie, Sam. As we have a throw in slightly into the Kangaroos attacking territory. The Collingwood forwards, they've moved down to the wing. There's only two in their forward 50, and that's Cummings and Davis. Tarrant pushing back now. Burton, the front posse. Burns. It's a half forward. Arch up again in front of Tarrant. Somehow got it to Colbert. Harvey looking for options. And finds one. Simpson, what a year he's had. On the left, kicks not all that flash. Getting there is Petri. Now Morell in trouble. Ducked ahead. Umpire waving the arm says play on. And they'll have another ball up. Just looking at Nathan Buckley at the moment. It looks like Simpson will be his opponent. Both coming in towards this contest on the left there. Petri, two, two leading kick getters in the cock. We saw Harding in the fourth ground. He came onto the ground, replacing Petri. The boundary throw in. Scott uh, Burns. At this situation, Michael, it's the boundary throw in on the wing. Josh Fraser's doing the ruck work against Spider Burton. McKee's in Collingwood's defensive 50. Free kick, and it'll go Burton's way. Quick hand off to Harvey. Kangaroos into attack. Fist from McKee. Comes to Hardy, he's dynamic, can't get an effective handball, Cloak needs to get it clear. Harding again in there fighting with Goff. Cool handball under pressure, McKee. Now the courier. Collingwood. Slightly into attack, Tarrant and Archer. Archer with strength. Wobbles it towards half court, McKee. Couldn't quite control it with the one hand, can now. Scotland, who was very good in Collingwood's last match against Fremantle. An ambitious kick out wide. Clement has got Fraser in support. Now a chance for the Magpies. Kick towards the wing. Glenn Freeborn against his old club. Run provided by Johnson. Lockyer takes it. Can he control it? He can't. Boundary throw in. Let's go down to Jared Waitley. The interchange, Stuart's busy already, Jared. Yes, quarters. Dennis Pagan has made three changes in the first three minutes of the match. Sinclair was headed to the bench as the opening siren rang with Baird coming on and then Harding uh, came off for Petrie and a minute later they reversed that and Petrie came off for Harding. So Dennis Pagan hard at work with the tactics. Throw in. There's Colbert, little toe poke towards the boundary line. Simpson and Buckley pretty close. This will be a great contest, Simpson and Buckley. Already you can see Archer's playing on Tarrant. That'll be a terrific contest as well. And Lee Colbert will be playing on Anthony Rocker. Over the top went Burton to Stevens. An effective kick. Anthony Rocker. Finds Freeborn. Will be kicking from exactly 50 metres out. The angle's acute. Very clever kick by Rocker. So Glenn Freeborn. Two goals this season in his 12 matches. Right from 50. And it stays left. So the Magpies are two behinds. The Kangaroos yet to score. Five and a half in this first quarter. Presta Giacomo at full back playing on Big Sam, his former teammate. Make peace. Gets it to Harvey. Still deep in his own defensive zone, Brent Harvey. Oh. Dangerous kick towards King. Squall came from Scotland. Freeborn couldn't quite get the effective handball. A fly hard at ground level. Lockyer concedes ground to Rocker. 55 from goal. Dumps it to the goal square. Tarrant couldn't quite take the mark. Play on the call. Kangaroos under extreme pressure. Martin just arched the back. Kicks across his defensive goal face. T. Good mark. Tarrant. Soaring attempt in the goal square. Couldn't quite complete the mark. And the Kangaroos relieved the pressure to make peace at halfback. 
Short to Colbert. He in turn gives it to Archer. Been prominent early. To half forward. Harvey's outsized here, but somehow wins the football. Slick handball to Pickett. What can he do? He gets bowled over. He's got the free. So Byron Pickett will line up from a slight angle, kicking from about to 40 metres out at worst. Terrific contest just before this. It was little Harvey against Cloak. Harvey just made the body contact on the bigger Collingwood opponent just to put him off balance. Ball came to ground. He was able to get the quick handball across to Byron Pickett and Clement realising that he couldn't let Byron just run free. So had to put the hand on him and infringed. Byron Pickett, second leading goal kicker for the Kangaroos. Averaging two goals a game exactly this year. 12 games, 24 goals. No mistake, the Kangaroos are on the board. So the Kangaroos get the first goal of the evening. We've been going seven and a half minutes. They're a goal, the Maggies are two points. And we'll just have a look at here, the contact made by little Harvey, just enough to put Cloak off balance. And then, of course, once the ball hit the deck, he was onto it. And quick hands over to Byron Pickett. looking on pondering back in the center McKee put his body in can't quite get it clear Robbins who's been a revelation this year for the kangaroos earns himself a free kick quickly off bed thumps it long rocker and prestige came up then support prestige came up Harding swooped on the football couldn't quite control it boundary throwing both of these teams play a similar brand of football. They don't over-possess, they don't do a lot of handball, don't short pass. It's generally run and drive the ball long and direct into the forward line. Kangaroos aiming for big sap. The key decisively. Burns or handball through traffic was effective to Scotland. Wide kick, oh it's close. Just touched inside the line by the Collingwood captain, Nathan Buckley. Big crowd in here at the Colonial Stadium. Fanta fantastic atmosphere. Kangaroos by four points. Once again, it's Burton against McKee in the ruck. Spider got the fist onto it. Or the palm, I should say. Scotland. Oh, it came off because he fouled Lockyer. Tarkin Lockyer to half foot. Tarrant against Archer. Colbert. Fires out the handball to Harvey. Makepeace keeps it in. Can't sidestep McGough. Leon Davis. Buckley. Inside 50. Rocket dealt with his opponent in Colbert. Handball over the top to Freeball was clever. Freeball in the pocket. Right foot kick across the face. It's uh, hit the behind post on the full. So it's a free kick in the back pocket to the Kangaroos. And Martin wastes no time as he finds King. King. Calling for his teammates to present themselves. Martin's run on and gets the kick. Pressure coming from Cloak. More play by Mick Martin. Game number 277. Colbert. Kangaroo's just trying to work it out of their defensive zone with some method. Kick to the true centre half ball position. Morale from the side. Good mark. Encouraging signs for the Kangaroos to see the big fella mark like that. Now he kicks out wide. Teague has run from half back to present himself at half court. Support missed the target only with the handball bed. Plenty of time. Kicks towards half court. McCurry and Grant. Burton trying to hack it off the ground. Lockyer under pressure. Burns needs to be good here. He is to Lockyer. Dangerously across the fence of goal face. Prestige Como did brilliantly in the end to get it to Scotland. Johnson. Back to Scotland and Collingwood in the end work it out of their defensive zone. Or do they? McCurry had to make a contest and did. McGough brilliantly done though by Simpson. Good pressure. Paul McCurry in picture. He's running with Shannon Grant. And a red alert Lee Colbert. Six disposals in the last ten minutes. Well, he's playing pretty well at centre half back against, against Anthony Rocker. King off and Sinclair on for the Kangaroos. So another change made by Dennis Pagan. Hacked out of mid-air by Lecuria. Stevens. 
to Sinclair. First touch straight on the ground and has an effect as he goes short to Simpson. He bangs it long. Harvey's at the tip of the goal square. It's the way they play. Kick it long, move it on. And Adam Simpson, who got that kick, we thought that Simpson and Buckley were against each other. Well, they were for the first five or six minutes of the game, but uh, they've got different opponents now. Simpson playing on McGough and Buckley being tagged by Teague. Brett Harvey loves a goal. Kicked 20 of them so far in 2002. Goes to Banana, and I think he's threaded it through. He has. Kangaroos, two straight goals, Collingwood two behinds, 12 minutes gone, first quarter. Now just good share there by Stevens to Sinclair, smart kick by Sinclair, he saw that Simpson was free, Simpson off two steps, long to the goal square, and good mark taken there, well, he just had too much freedom there, free board, not tight enough on the dangerous Harvey. Kangaroos off to a great start. Great tap from Burton. Now, Spider Burton, I think he's exceeded expectations this year as a ruckman. Kangaroos got Mark Porter across from Carlton, and uh, you can see Harvey's been very hot over the last 10 minutes. Dangerous player, but uh, Spider Burton's just rucked superbly this year. Bad bounce gives Collingwood a chance. Fraser, Scotland. Probing kick. Archer coming up. Oh, collision. Now chance for the Magpies. Tarrant. Burns in hard. Play on good umpiring. Oh, Robbins should have got a free kick. No, wasn't forthcoming. Colbert. Eventually, umpire McInerney calls for it. Mick Martin and Scott Cummings get reacquainted. <laughs> yeah, well, Mickey Martin won't give him an inch. And uh, you see there, Robbins going to ground. It'll be hard to get a free kick tonight, but you'll have to earn them. Stevens. Sinclair gets there first. Make piece. Oh, great pickup by King. Pumps it long. Cloak against Morell. Morell the front posse. Freeboard. Quick hands to Cloak. Clement. Wakeland. In front is Davis. Teague did well. Backed himself. Sinclair. Under pressure. Simpson. Cheers. Sir. Not much room for anyone to move at the moment. Ball ends up to Simpson. It was at 15. Well, the crowd think not. That's why they're screaming. Simpson. Across the ground. Archer provides the target. And Tarrant wasn't watching the ball. No, you've got to keep your eyes on the ball there. Archer from midfield. Kick towards Rocker. Severia. Let's go back down to Jared Whiteley. Yeah, quarters, the work on the bench is amazing. David King spent about 90 seconds on the bench, virtually on the phone the whole time, just getting a message from Dennis Pagan. I haven't seen the runners work so hard, and uh, Dennis Pagan obviously just wanting to deliver a personal message that time to David King. 15 marks to two, Kangaroos favour, so uh, they're certainly hitting the targets. Look, that was a long kick in the general direction, and Sav Rocker just too good for Presta Giacomo. We'll kick from right on 50, has 29 goals this season, kick six against the Lions last week. Thumping kick is close. Shoots to cross the face. There's behind for the ending for the Kangaroos. The boot of Severio Rocca. Lockyer. He's going to decide it. Yeah, he'll have to kick it quick or they'll take it off him. That's three times he's stopped. Umpire giving him plenty of latitude. Patience is a virtue. He finds Scotland. Wakeland. Sweeping handle to Clement. Leon Davis stood his ground almost past the football. Make peace. Colbert ducked ahead. And Pye's going to bounce it down in Collingwood's true set of half forward position. We've been going uh, almost 16 minutes in this first quarter. And it is the Kangaroos by. 11 points. Well, the Collingwood forwards just haven't been able to uh, take any marks. Rocker and Colbert. Rocker gets it shot though by Robbins. Spiral towards the centre. McKee going back. Makes a comfortable chest mark. Such an important player in this Collingwood structure. Steve McKee, the courier, sweeps it wide. McGough 
needs to use it effectively, looking for Burns, almost got to him. Burns still a chance, but he's out number three on one. Archer gets it back to Harvey between wing and half back, wants to get on with it. Now Sinclair will want it his left side. Hoist it high, up high. Now a chance for Clement. Freeborn. Got a loose player in Buckley inside. He ignores that. Now he uses Buckley. Nathan Buckley. Can he use the football? A stopping kick. Fraser at the back. That's what they've been looking for. Tall forward to take a mark. They've gone into the game with uh, four tall forwards. Just a lovely kick of Buckley's in the end. He's kicked at every bit of 60 metres, and it was a perfect kick. And we'll have a look at him here. He is just a wonderful kick, and it just gives Fraser time to set himself, and he comes from behind Baird, pulls it down. 30 metres from goal, directly in front. He comes in and pops it through. Collingwood's first. So Collingwood, their first goal of the match, Josh Fraser kicks his 13th, 14th goal of the season after kicking three last week against the Dockers. Yes, and uh, number one draft pick, Fraser. And again, we have a look at it. It is just a lovely kick, and he's just got the perfect sit. Lockyer was tempted to get into it. You see Lockyer coming in, then he takes his eyes off the footy and decides it's better to be down at ground level. Tarrant really finding it hard to get into the action. That's one of the toughest players to play on in Glen Archer. Archer's had five or six disposals. Tarrant yet to get a touch. Burton punches it forward. So uh, doing the roving was uh, the key very nicely. Clement. He drills it long. Caught out of position was Tarrant. And Makepeace in the end is the man to take the mark. Goes out wide to his skipper and Stevens. Good kick to half forward. King to Rocker. I tell you what, it's within his range. He's about 60 out. So Sam has got the big wind up here. He thumps it long, but it's offline. And three, four, one behind. Two behinds to Sam Rocker. The Ruse are 2 2. The Magpies are 1 2. 19 minutes gone, first quarter. Six I, goals straight last week. Yeah, I think Colonial Stadium, roof closed, perfect for Big Sav. Well, Davis kicked the tenant for Freeborn, and Rocker made some ground to affect the spoil. Well, it's just uh, tailor made for Big Sav. Solid uh, ground surface, uh, no wind out there for a big man who likes to go for his marks, just perfect conditions. He'll assist in the ruck work here. Key almost wins it over the top. Simpson out with Harvey. To the top of the goal square. The back for Collingwood. Quite a chance. Well, in the end, just hacked it towards the boundary line. And it just goes over in front of Johnson. Well, there was nothing in front of him, so uh, he just did the percentage thing. And you can see there James Clement coming across to the youngster saying, well done, that was the, uh, the right thing to do. Don't try to be a hero when you're under pressure back there in the defensive 50. 20 minutes played, first term. Kangaroos by six points. Simpson and Buckley. Now towards King, who tried to soccer off the ground. Freeborn, who's been prominent in this first quarter, to Buckley, to Clement. Tarrant has to back back. Oh, Archer, almost a great mark. It's been paid. Great mark. Play on the call. Ended up with Robbins to Simpson. He kicks towards a lead of Rocket. Oh, almost a marking from the side by Petri. Mercuria, Clement, and Collingham now into attack. Kick wasn't all that flash, and it no mark to make peace. Umpire almost paid it. Now Burns, Buckley. What can he do with the football this time? He goes backwards, and now he thumps along again. This time his target is coming. He's got to beat two of them. In fact, he's got to beat three of them. And uh, numbers went out as the kangaroos clear. Colbert to Stevens. His kick's poor, straight to Mercurian. Davis off for Collingwood, Cole on. But the ball's with Mercuria. They all miss it, there's a free push and it's a free kick to Collingwood. Yeah, in the back to Freeborn. And uh, I thought it was there, ball going in, long kick going in. 
Well, it looked like little Harvey just worried about lack of height in that situation. Just put the push into the back of Freeborn. So Glenn Freeborn has another shot at goal. Against his old side. Missed his first attempt. This is easier. From 40 metres out, slight angle. And he has got it. So Glenn Freeborn ties it up here at Colonial Stadium. Round 13. It's the Magpies against the Kangaroos, and it's 2-2 two -two apiece as we near quarter time. There's the free. It's only the one hand, but it's enough. It was there. So all locked up here. Kangaroos certainly... Winning in the centre, nine hit outs to three in favour of the Roos. Again, Burton, hacked forward by Grant. Freeborn was held without it again. And he'll get another free kick, Glenn Freeborn. Nine possession. This will be his tenth possession in this opening quarter to Glenn Freeborn. Ben Johnson on the wing. Well, shocking kick. It was touched off the boot. Now a chance for Harvey. Kangaroos, a vacant forward line. Rocker and Preston Giacomo. Need to keep their feet. Preston Giacomo just arched the back and eluded the Rocker tackle. Johnson again and again his kick is ineffective. Brilliant smother coming from David King. Gee, that was quick by Preston Giacomo. Uh, red alert, James Clement playing across half-back, getting plenty of the ball. And he always tries to find a target as he goes forward. comes Archer got boot to ball there's Buckley game tackle manages somehow to feed the handle out to Lecuria he's well and truly under pressure Preston Giacomo didn't panic Cloak squeezed the kick out and in front of Bree. he's got five metres on his opponent in Stevens. have a look at that beard gee Terrence got off Archer as Bree scrubs one to half forward there's Cole, who's come on the ground for Davis. We've got to throw in. You see Tarrant in picture there. He got away from Glenn Archer, and the Kangaroos really do help each other. Simpson just sprinted from the midfield to get back there to cover Tarrant, just to give Archer time to get back and cover him. Buckley, another possession for Freeborn. To Burns, from 55 metres out. Tarrant just waiting back. Gets a little love tap from Archer for good measure. It was interesting, only about a minute ago, Tarrant went kick chasing because he hadn't touched the footy. Archer was playing particularly well on him. He ran down to uh, towards the wing and was involved in a couple of passages of play. Then he just sprinted 80 metres into the forward line, got away from Archer, and he's let himself down there. So first possession for the evening for Tarrant, but he can only manage it behind. It was a very tight angle, though. It is the Magpies by that behind. 2-3 two, to 2-2. Two, two. Almost 25 minutes ticked over in this first quarter. The Magpies set up a zone defence. They've got numbers everywhere. Collingwood players getting the hands up. Try to fill the spaces. Interesting make piece. Kick to himself, then handball to Harvey. And he gets it to McCartney in the back pocket. Low scoring affair. It's been very entertaining. It's been tight and tough. McCartney thumps it long. McKee, to sit down, ground level, chance for T. And handball through the congestion, missed the target. Scotland, back inside attacking 50, only as far as Harvey. And he takes a comfortable mark. Now, thought about switching to McCartney. Alex to handball instead to make peace. He thumps it long. McKee going back. He needed some cojo, not paid the mark. Petrie, Dick Grant. Scotland just standing off Shannon Grant there. Now Grant a chance to kick towards Baird playing up forward. Wakeland did very well, but Pickett was brilliant with the tackle. Clement in trouble. Good play by Baird there, Michael. He really did put the pressure on. He missed the mark. And John Baird's usually a defender. He just came onto the ground, went to full forward on Wakeland. And Leon Davis has been benched. But Baird missed the mark, but then terrific pressure by Pickett. And then Baird forced the ball out of bounds. Stevens has a pot shot at goal. It's across the face. Out on the 
Liverpool. So it is the Magpies by a point. No mark to cloak. But he did well to tackle Sinclair and forced the turnover. Lock here. Cole, it's off his boot. Gee, I thought that was Ooh. on the floor. Yeah, I think it was. Right in front of the Simpson background part. Screaming out, yeah. saying, uh, my free kick. Simpson and Buckley back on each other. It's a bad miss from the boundary. Just watch it come off the boot. Yeah. Richard Cole's foot. So throw it on centre wing. And we'll have another attempt. Some of the leading stat getters for Collingwood. 11 to Freeborn, 9 to Scotland, 7 to Clement, 7 to Lecuria. While for the Kangaroos, 11 to Harvey, 9 to Makepeace, 7 each to Colbert, Archer and Simpson. Close to quarter time. Make peace. There's another one for Harvey. Long. Baird against Wakeland. Coming in from the side is Costa Giacomo. They would have done a lot of that practice through the week, the Magpies, because they know the Kangaroos kick it long. And they would have just practiced that two or three steps, leap up and just thump the ball towards the boundary line. Close to quarter time. Can the Kangaroos? Milk a late goal. McKee did very well. It's an outside defence of 50. Buckley committed his body and ensured the ball travelled over the boundary line. So just four goals kicked in this opening quarter. Pressure has been immense. As we near quarter time, Petri, there's a free kick. Which way are we going, McKee? Now play on advantage. Burns, who's been very good in the opening quarter. McCartney over the top. Read it brilliantly to Jason McCartney. Well, he didn't think about it, Michael. He just went straight at it. Josh Fraser had a look, and by the time he'd had a look, McCartney was well and truly off. Make peace. 11 possessions for him. Geez, Hamble put his team under pressure. T. Great tackle. It was by Rocker. Quickly out of the pack was Roberts. To set up on it. Mark? And Fire says no. And that will be quarter time. As, uh, gee, it was a close thing for Saf. It would have had no problem with the uh, the distance from there, but that is the quarter time score in a very tight and tough opening. Collingwood 2 3 15, the Kangaroos 2 2 14, Robert Walls. Well, there's not much in it, is there? Just uh, the one point, and it's been a quarter of matchups and then moves. The, the interchange bench has been used, both coaches trying to find an advantage. I think we're in for a terrific contest, not much between the sides at all. So at the first break, it is the Magpies by one point. Tuesday, it's a short hop to Kanga's Corner. Great to see you here. An unsung hero, I reckon, Shagger. The skin files are looking good. You really feel proud to be involved. Yeah, it's an honour. Find out what's happening in Ruland Tuesday, 5.45 on Fox Woody Channel. Gal Harvey Norman, your home theatre and surround sound specialist. The latest technology, time-saving advice and affordable prices. Harvey Norman has it all. Complete home theatre packages, DVD players, top brand name speakers, surround sound receivers with Dolby Digital and the latest DVD movie titles. Leading brands like Onkyo, Kenwood, Pioneer, Technic, Sony, Mission, AccuSound, US Audio and JBL. All on display and all on sale now. The total visual and sound experience available now from your home theatre and surround sound specialist, Harvey Norman. Nissan Pulsar, Australia's biggest selling small sedan, is proud to be in partnership with Fox Footy Channel. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir on a steamroller, baby? Get your, get your ya-yas out. Needless lives, limpers, right wing, rips off rudder, sacrificial victim, McPhee, McFearless in face of McFiery, McFracker. Clickety click, the 66 and 6, the 72 trombone fled the big parade. Monaghetti Mall's Marathon Men in Memorable Massacre. Get your tongue round fast forward weekdays at 3.30 on the Comedy Channel, the home of comedy. Yes, you're on the air, mate. Fire away. You move him, I'm talking to Clinton. Good on you. What would you like to talk about? Ah, oh, just give me white blood fever. What was it? One three hundred. Are you ready now? Hang on. We're in front. Oh, terrific. Well, you you called us. Fire away. I want to know who stole the job section out of a paper. Thanks for the call there, Rodney. We'll move on. Nice music. No, he's half an hour behind. Hopefully, we'll have a sensible call from you. White Lion Fever live weeknights. 
Brett Harvey loves a goal. Kicked 20 of them so far in 2002. Goes to Banana. And I think he's through to the proof. He has. Quarter time at Colonial Stadium. This round 13 clash. And a crucial one it is. It's the Magpies by a point. 2-3 two, to 2-2. Two, two. Freeborn Fraser, Pickett and Harvey are the goal scorers so far in the match. And, uh, well, to me, the highlight in the first quarter has been uh, the Archer... Uh, Tarrant matchup, Glenn Archer really, uh, well, giving Tarrant a lesson at the moment, isn't he? It's just been too strong. He's had uh, seven disposals, Glenn Archer. Tarrant's only had the one, but you can see that if it becomes a one-on-one -on -one contest, Archer will block, he will uh, shepherd, he will smother, he will just do everything, punch from behind. A real desperado. Will Tarrant be more effective used from the goal square, Rob? Towards the end of that first quarter, they moved Tarrant to the goal square. I think so. Uh, just try to get Tarrant to beat him on the lead. No good on the one-on-one -on -one where they have to wrestle. Here's the top ten for the player rankings and Brett Harvey leading the way. He's been absolutely outstanding. And one player that Collingwood has had a great year for the Magpies, Scott Burns, also prominent. And Glenn Freeborn, 11 possessions in that first quarter. He was just terrific, wasn't he? And uh, the thing that stood out was the marks 26 to 8 in favour of the Kangaroos. Here's a bit of a turn up at quarter time. The Blues by nine points over the Lions. What a Harak Manus is going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well... Carlton uh, have done pretty well against Brisbane over the years, so uh, they'd go up there with a, a degree of confidence. Jared Waitley. Quarters, I don't think I've seen a North Melbourne bench uh, so furiously used during a quarter. In about 29 minutes, there were nine changes made, including a couple of changes just for discussions on the phone. Firstly, King, and then Grant, and then McCartney all had about 90 seconds on the phone with Dennis Pagan before the quarter time huddle. So uh, certainly a battle of tactics. Certainly matchups changed throughout the quarter. No injury concerns for either side at the moment. And this is an enormous crowd for a Friday, for a Saturday night footy at Colonial. It is, Jared. It's a full book. And we heard there were some big traffic problems, two outside to, near the lead-up to the game. But it's a great crowd at Colonial. Just looking at the two Collingwood forwards going down to the goal square. Cummings hasn't touched the ball in the first quarter. Terrence only had the one disposal. They're starting Terrence in the goal square to get him to lead. No good wrestling with Archer. Cummings, the big fella, I would think if he doesn't get a touch in the first 10 minutes, he'll be off the ground. And our mail from Brisbane is that Akamatis had two kicks in the first quarter. But let's concentrate on this game, which is tight and tough as we expected. It's the Magpies by a point as we start the second term. Notice a lot of players slipping in that area of the ground, inside the centre square. The ground is pretty hard, maybe something to do with the cricket which was played here a week or two ago. You see Mickey Martin giving Cummings nothing. <laughs> He won't want to crack any jokes Cummings with Mickey Martin. He won't be laughing tonight. That is a heavyweight duel between those two. Robbins did well to Harvey. McCartney on the left. Baird. Stevens, another one that slipped over. It is very icy out there, as in... Gee, Wakefield got caught high. But we walked on it before the game, didn't we, Michael? It was really rock hard and very slippery. Yeah, and very a clay, a clay base, so I understand why players are finding it difficult to keep their feet. Wakeland, as we watch again, and Pickett just crude on Wakeland. And kicks towards the wing, Clement providing an option. Pickett did brilliantly, and has he given away a free kick? He has just held on to James Clement. Tommy would only taken one contested mark thus far in the game. Kick towards Rocker. Well played by Colbert. Gee, Colbert just hanging on, wasn't he? He's outsized Lee Colbert in that duel, but doing particularly well. Seven possessions in the opening quarter. Boundary thrown between wing and half forward for the Magpies, who lead by a point, early stages, second term. Rocker directs it down. Freeborn, slick little hand on it, Cole. Scrambles it towards full forward. It bounces, goal! Can Tarrant get a boot on? Archer was desperate. And forces are behind. So the Magpies by a couple of points. Played two minutes in the second quarter. And you can see again, just uh, Archer with the body in front of Tarrant. Have a look at the two kangaroo players there, Archer and Mickey Martin. They'll test his sore hip. Stevens heads towards the wing. And does it nicely. Gee, look at the marks. 26 to 8. Yeah, Collingwood just haven't been able to get particularly marks up forward. Byron Pickett getting ready to come back on. Quick message from the coach. 
Yes, McCartney and Fraser go at it. Hacked out of mid-air by Harvey. Well, is that 15? The message would have been just to settle down. He was involved in a couple of free kicks. Good coaching by Dennis Pagan. Just settle him down. Pickett gets the mark and he bangs it long. The spoils from Wakeland. Good pick up by Baird. Roberts. Sinclair. On his wrong boot, which is his right. Preston Giacomo, the spoil. Doing the crumbing is McKee. 50 out from the Ruse goal. And again, the strong spoil by Preston Giacomo. They know that uh, the Kangaroos kick it long into the forward line, so uh, all the Collingwood defenders, they'd be ready for that. Kangaroos, and they're attacking 50. Cloak and Petrie. Harvey can't keep it in. Brent Harvey, 14 possessions. So he's been outstanding. Matthew Burton on the bench, Spider Burton. Petrie doing some ruck work just to uh, ease the workload. McKee gets it down. Ground level of Courier, trying to get it clear. Bit too fierce for O'Brien. Robbins to Harvey again. Inside attacking 50. Wakeland got to the front well. All played by Johnson. Put his body in. Gee, going hard. Fierce bump there by Byron Pickett. They are going in hard, the Kangaroos. As we look at Matthew Burden, just taking a break. Kangaroos just 30 metres from their goal. Over the top, Morell gets it down. King couldn't quite control it. Cloak brilliantly tackled. Morell again tried to get it out towards Harvey. Couldn't. And another bounce. This is where they're dangerous, the Kangaroos, at these ruck contests 30, 40 metres out from their goal. They make a bit of space between the contest and the goals. Hit towards their goal. Players just screaming through. <laughs> that conversation's still going on. <laughs> you think they would have run out of things to say by now? Petri and McKee. Kangaroos deep into attack. Chance for Morrell. Snap around the body. Offline. And in fact, he's missed everything. So out on the foot. Collingwood free kick to Wakeland. Robbie was in plenty of space, though. You said they yeah. were dangerous. Oh, they're dangerous uh, at those situations. Both of these sides, Collingwood and the Kangaroos, are very good at the clearances from ruck contests. Here's a chance for Buckley. The bounce didn't favour him. And Simpson sees it over the line. I reckon Buckley was a bit worried about the, the surface, about slipping. He just tended to just hang back a fraction. To see him here, just... Realise you, I think if he took a sharp turn, his feet could go from under him. Burns. Robbins is in there. We'll have another ball up. Let's get out of Jared Waitley with a report on Spider. Yeah, quarters. Matthew Burton's had a few conversations with the doctor during the first five minutes of this quarter. Just enough activity to have you believe they're a little bit concerned, although he hasn't had any obvious treatment on the boundary line. We'll keep an eye on that. Brady Rawlings on for the Kangaroos. Three men in their side tonight, the Kangaroos, who have not played a game this year. Smith, Petrie and Rawlings. It's inside the Kangaroos, 50. Harvey. Jammed on the boundary line. Floats one to the tip of the goal square. The cloak playing in front saves it for Collingwood. It's the call from Clement. You'll need a good bounce here. And he didn't get one. So a turnover. Or is it? Pickett tries to crash his way through. Clement has been... Oh, oh, shit. No free kick. Do you like to see that again? You would indeed. The courier has it. Collingwood on the break. Well, kick had too much penetration for Fraser. But he was too nimble for McCartney. Can he control it, Josh Fraser? Now he has a couple of players in support. He should have used... It. He does now. He uses Lockyer. Kick inside, Cummings over his head, Tarrant and Archer. Tarrant keeps his feet, but Martin strips it from him. Little toe poke four by Cummings, Stevens in the way. Kept his head, handball to Archer. Takes all the time he needs to Colbert. Free kick. Gee, that was brave by Roberts. He knew he was going to get hurt, didn't he? Yeah. He didn't take a backward step. Let's have a look at it here, Clement. Just caught him with the forearm. I think he'd be all right, Clement. Oh, as far yeah. as report goes. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. But she was just courage from Robbins. My word. Colby kick short to Archer. Oh, it's 
it's come up field. Come, it's yeah. come up field, yeah. So Shannon Grant's got the football. Gives it to Colbert. His target is Sav Rocker. Beautifully nudged under the ball by Presta Giacomo. Morell, Simpson. He losing his footing at the crucial moment was Petri. Yeah, he slipped, didn't he? And McKee. Yeah, he spots up Scotland. Scotland, a little chip over the top to Lecuria, the Magpies build. Lecuria needs to use the ball. Short. Gets to Tarrant. Not quite. Good play by Martin. Great Just pressure again. Desperate. Yeah, Cummings off. He hasn't uh, had a disposal, Cummings. That was going to happen. You were one minute and 30 seconds out. You hit the 10 minute mark. Yeah. They've been a bit top heavy in that forward line. They've only had the one contested mark. Now, you've played for, say, the best part of 40 minutes, and you've got Fraser, Cummings, Rocker uh, in your side. Well, you just can't keep going that way. Played nine minutes in this second quarter. Martin is it straight to Tarrant, who chips for Fraser. Marked at half forward. And he's got a player on on attacking 50. It's Lockyer. Duncan Lockyer. Waste no time. Contest in the goal square. Rocker. Out marks Archer. And bangs it through. Go to Collingwood. kicks the Mac Price third. Good play from Tank and Lockyer. Oh, excellent play by Lockyer to set the ball up like that. Anthony put a little bit of contact onto Archer. Archer knew there wouldn't be a free kick coming his way. This is a lovely kick. Just put it to a perfect spot. And contested marks. That's the second one they've got for the game. Nick Martin caught the high lock before. Had to come off under the blood rule. I think it might have been that desperate lunge there on Tarrant. Yeah, and, and uh, he's just caught one in the face. That won't worry, Mick. So the Magpies, by eight points, we've gone ten minutes exactly in the second quarter. Stephen the key in the ruck. Yeah, and Richard Cole coming from the field, Didac replacing him, so they've gone for a shorter player in the forward line. Petri got the knock, but it went straight to Buckley, who puts Collingwood back into attack. Underneath it is Baird. Yeah, there's Didac, number four, just came on. Baird switches to Rawlings on the outer side. Harvey. Back to Rawlings. He bangs it long, but to Wakeland's there. He's got the sitters at a free kick. Should have been. Umpire said no. Johnson sees it over the line for a throw-in. Interesting one, wasn't it? Stevens, uh, the player who perhaps could have given away the free kick. We'll have a look at it coming in. Stevens took his yeah, eyes off the ball. Forward, he infringed on Wakeland. Should have been a Collingwood free kick. So a chance for the Kangaroos here. There's Stevens again. Freeborn's been good. Hardy. Great smell by Burns. To O'Bree. Only as far as Harvey. He loves these. Harvey. It's not a bad kick. It's a sensational goal. From a standing start, Brett Harvey has kicked an absolute ripper. That's his second. And it's the back post by two points. And there's no doubt that he called for this from O'Bree because O'Bree didn't really look. He just handballed to the noise as we watch it on replay. Just, just coming up here. Balls. Now O'Bree just hears the voice and realises that he's handballed straight to the opposition. Yeah. Great goal. Well, have a look at that. 18 disposals. They have to put a tight tag on him, the Magpies. We'll see if that happens in the next minute or two. Petri slips, but still gets the centre clearance. Diving attempt at Stevens is effective. And Kangaroos, chance again, he wastes no time. Kick inside, attacking 50, King on the lead. Just escapes him, or oh, both sides finding trouble to keep their feet. King runs to 30, drop punt. This is for the near side. Don't you love watching him play? Backs himself, they are really bold. David King, Harvey, Shannon Grant, they, Byron Pickett. They just take the opposition on every time. An exciting team to watch. So it's a point the difference. There's the leading possession getters. Harvey leading the way. 
big spider Burton back on. Petri off. Clement to do the kicking in. Big spider a chance here. It's McKee and Burton. Burton fists. Freeboard's had a great night, but not on this occasion as Robbins gets it to Burton from 51 metres. Spider might have kicked the goal! Kangaroos in front! Twenty-seven plays twenty-two. And the momentum at the moment with the Kangaroos. And just terrific play by the big man. And that's the value of him. He's just not just a tap ruckman, he's well over 200 centimetres tall. He also reads the play well. He's a smart player, he knows how to position. And you can see he's kicked that from 50 metres out. So the Kangaroos kick the last two goals and lead by five points. McKee takes it out. Clement scrambles it for Davis. Well, he needs to get into the game, Leon Davis. Uses Dynat with his left foot. Kick Tarrant and Archer. Tarrant not quite Archer. I oh, did it brilliantly. Kick out wide, Rawlings. And Stevens now to assist. Concede some ground to Harvey, who just keeps racking up the possessions. High to half forward. Rocker gets Preston Giacomo out of the way and takes the mark. Even he will be followed by the distance. It's about 90 metres. Kick towards Harding. Scotland getting back. Takes a leading mark for the Magpies. Got Dynak out wide, and that's where he kicks. Dynak looks for Anthony Rocker. That's an excellent mark. Great contested mark. Yeah, and uh, he's getting a little bit frustrated, Anthony, but it is a good mark. Colbert will try to negate him all night. Colbert won't be interested in getting kicks himself. He'll just say, I've got to play alongside Anthony, get a fist on the footy, and uh, just limit his disposals. McGough on for Burns. Oh, quick hands by McGough to Lockyer. He loves that he's talking Lockyer, but he's missed to the left. Just the one behind. So it's the Kangaroos 4-3. The Magpies 3-5. Four points of difference. Halfway mark of the second quarter. That kick barely covering the required distance. Archer has it in the back pocket. And that's what confronts him. Glenn Freeborn being put onto Harvey. Short, Rawlings. And they go to Harvey every opportunity. He's a go-to player. Wobbles it out of the defensive zone. He had nothing to kick to there, Harvey. Now McKee, can he trap it inside the line? He can. Uses the courier. Back to McKee. Johnson running in support. Collingwood a chance. Kicks it. Make peace. Well, Johnson didn't really look. And that's a costly turnover. Yeah. Make peace gets it to King. Anthony Rocker screaming. Matt Johnson for the poor kick into the forward 50. King tried to milk the 50, umpire awake to that one. Short to Rawlings. Be interesting to see if Tarrant stays out there. He's only had two touches halfway through this second quarter. His opponent, Arch, has had 10. Loose bit on the wing for the Ruse. It's Burton to Teague. He's got about 40 metres on his nearest opponent. Teague decides to kick. He's looking for Rocker. In front, no mark. Back of the pack. Scotland. Now Robbins attack the ball. Hair balls to Harding, boot to ball. One behind. To Lee Harding. So it's the Kangaroos by five points. 16 and a half minutes gone, second quarter. Big Saps causing real concern up in that forward line. And they're going to him, the Kangaroos, every time they break past the wings in the centre square. It's a uh, big step they look for. No breathe from the kick into Cole. Oh, shocking kick. Just straight to Simpson. And it gets it to Rawlings. And has had some effective possessions in this second quarter. And he gets it to Rocker again. Make peace running out wide. He won't have a shot with it. <laughs> well, he's 90 metres from goal. <laughs> it's a good idea of what is running for him. He loads up with a torpedo, wobbles off the boot. Free kick to Burton for a hole. Sorry, Michael off the ball. So Matthew Burton, free kick. 
Yeah, he was being held that as the ball was coming in, Burton was uh, preparing to run up and go for the mark, and he was just uh, dragged off the ball. Was it McKee or Wakeman? Did you pick up who it was? Well, no, McKee stands the mark as Burton comes in and pops it through for his second. Kangaroos have kicked the last three goals of the game and have their biggest lead of the game, 11 points. That was McKee. Yeah. That was the aftermath of it. Gee, goals are hard to get. It's a low-scoring game, so everyone is vital. And since he came on about six minutes back, the big spider's been able to kick two. Context of this game so far, the 11 point buffer is monumental. We're in a bit of a roll, the Kangaroos. That's a definite free kick to Scotland. Much to the delight of the Collingwood fans. O'Brien and Harvey, who's absolutely blitzed so far tonight. Spoils, got to throw in. Isn't he a wonderful player? And have a look at the disposals per goal. Collingwood 41, Kangaroos 27. You're usually looking for about 18 or 19 disposals per goal. Low scoring game, close checking game, that's why. Hard to find space for the players. And neither side has really got a dominant tall forward. The free kick paid off the ball against the Courier to Grant. So the Kangaroos into attack again. Presser Giacomo again with Rocker under the ball. Cole needs to be precise in his skills here. It's a good kick, gets it to Scotland at centre half back now. Run provided out wide from Wakeman. But McCartney held him up well. Instead, kicks out wide to Fraser. Turn wing and half forward. Trying would need the next goal. Tarrant breaks for him. He kicks in Tarrant's direction. Almost good hands to it. Well, good tackle on Smith. Play on McGough. Batheris on the ground, hoist it high, Rocker, oh he's got to be three, the fish from T. Gets to the boundary line, and the right forward pocket for the magpie. Yeah, Batheris came on for O'Brien. Looking a bit out of sorts, Leon Davis. And just have a look at the body pressure that Archer puts on Tarrant. Tarrant's one of the best players on the lead with the mark, but just couldn't get freed up at all. Batheris tries to take it out, he can't get clear. Players go on with it. Rupert Pathiris and Smith from the bottom of the pack. And you can see Tarrant number 20, Archer. He will follow him every step of the way. He is not giving him any space whatsoever. Rocker trying to get it down T. Couldn't clear the congestion. Pathiris, Davis, snap around the body. He's close. It's across the face. And now we throw him. Well, that was an anti-climax. <laughs> Leon Davis, so dangerous in those situations. So a boundary throwing deep into Collingwood's attacking zone. This is dangerous because have a look at the space between the contest and the goals. Martin contested that one. Lockyer snap goal. Just what the Magpies needed. So Parker Lockyer gets one back for the Magpies. They smear that to break the momentum. And Kangaroos had a record, Robert. Yeah, you, you just don't want Mick Martin in the ruck contest. Mick hasn't got any idea how the ruck works. Spider Burton should have been down there to do the ruck work. You just can't have Mick do the ruck work. So margin back to five points in favour of the Kangaroos. Buckley a chance. Wrapped up by Simpson, but he gets it out towards Scotland. Look away, handball to Cole. Oh, clever. Uses the ball effectively. The Courier runs towards half forward. Kick out wide. Tarrant on the lead. Archer again strong. Chance of lock here at ground level. Can he haul it back? He can. Can't bring it back enough. Boundary throwing. Jason to the behind post. in the engine room, Harvey, Robin, Stevens. What a great game Harvey's playing. Simpson, he would, he would usually have around about 16 possessions to this stage of a game, 15, 16, so he's being kept in check. Scotland, Lequeur, look at Buckley, only eight. So uh, the stars aren't shining. Smith, 
He got back up. Oh, he's got it a long time. He didn't make much of an attempt. He had prior opportunity. And Tarkin Lockyer yeah, pleading with umpire McInerney to no avail. Bounce. Dylan Smith, his first game of the year. And again, Anthony Rocker against Colbert. Comes towards Lockyer Davis. Snap out of the pack. Oh! says it all. Behind of the Magpies margin. Four points, 23 minutes in. Second turn. Spider Burton's just got to get down there for those defensive ruck contests. He can't let Colbert and Martin do it. He's been playing up around the centre square with McKee. King right up the middle. Buckley does the roving. Puts Collingwood back inside 50. Camping underneath it was freeboard. a three-on-one in favour of the Roos. And another throw in. Well, let's see, Spider again won't go down to do it. And it'll be Anthony Rocker against Colbert. And very disciplined, the Magpies. They make space between the contest and the goal square. They'll try to stream into that space. Rocker, immediately tackled by Colbert. We'll have a ball up. Spider's been told by the runner to get down there, so you'll see him come into picture at last. Was making you feel uncomfortable, Robert. Robert. Oh, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> the coach came out on you. Comfortable. In the pocket. There's a chance for free ball around the corner. And it's one behind to Glenn Freeboard, who's kicked one goal, two for the evening. So it's the Kangaroos 34, Collingwood 31, three points the difference. 24 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Gee, the interchange bench has been used extensively in this first half. Physical game, not a high scoring game. Plenty of uh, packs, plenty of bumps, plenty of tackles. King kicks to himself and then drives it long. Oh, free kick out there against Collingwood, against the Courier, and will go to Simpson. The Shepherdy, away from the football. It was there, Simpson thumps it long. The back, Cole. The it and Cartney. Now a chance for Johnson. We we're hoping here for more than anything. Buckley kicks along the boundary line. Rocker needs to make a contest and does. Well played. Boundary throwing. It's been a good duel, Rocker and Colbert. Honours, you'd have to say at this stage with Lee Colbert. But Rocker continues to present himself. Inside 50 is pretty even throughout. Comes to Davis. Can he use the football effectively? Inside attacking 50, Archer and Tarrant. Lock here at the back. Scra has snaps a goal and kicks it. No, he hits the post. Gee, Collingwood have peppered the goals in the last five or six minutes. And Tarrant and Lock here. Interesting kick at goals. We look at his reaction after missing the golden opportunity. Margin, two points, 26 minutes into the second quarter. But he's kicked one and missed two. Goals at uh, forgettable Takanaki this quarter. Two points in favour of the Ruse. King tucks the footy under the arm, goes for a customary run. Johnson for Collingwood. Shepard provided by Wakeland. Good kick to Fraser. He's told to play on by Bethera. So Josh Fraser, his target's Leon Davis. to Harvey, clearly best on ground Harvey, dishes it to Teague and now McCartney will mark uncontested on centre wing Jason McCartney and no one's standing the mark as you can see Viserys is there but he's met 10 metres from where McCartney took the mark so he takes advantage kicks it long to half forward, Wakeland he had the big run and the big sit and he took it at half back, spectacular mark. Just uh, interchange use. Kangaroos have used their players extensively. Mick Malthouse has used his not quite as much, and players like McGough, O'Bree, and Batheris, they'll have very fresh legs in the second half. Batheris thumps it long to half forward. Fraser from the back 
Good shepherded out by Martin, but Martin will get the free kick for a push in the back. Good play by Mick Martin. Harvey's had 21 disposals. Just magnificent. And as we look at Martin just pushing back into Fraser and moving the free kick. Close to half time with 28 minutes in. Second quarter, McCartney almost. Buckley at the back was taken high. Free kick to the Collingwood captain. Adam Simpson, uh, Simpson and Buckley, neither having a, a major influence on this go. Three kicks at the moment. Ten to the Kangaroos, seven to the Magpies. Okay. At, this, at this stage, you've got about 36 players in the Collingwood front half. Collingwood goes to half court. Fraser just spilt the beats. Should have marked that Josh Fraser. But that is paid. Here's a chance for Leon Davis. He squares it up, tip of the goal square. Perhaps should have had a shot. There's Bake Piece, takes the mark. Fraser's hurt behind play. Looks like he might be winded. What was he trying to do there, Rob? Leon Davis. I think Leon Davis should have had a shot for goal. If their confidence is down a little bit, they've uh, been kicking inaccurately. And the pressure, of course, has just been huge by the kangaroo defence. And another free kick. A puzzling one. And uh, Savrock is a recipient. Got one on the beak. Yeah. He's coming off. Fraser's coming off. Sav Rocker at half back. Gee, it's a, just a congestion of players here on this wing. I think the Kangaroos are happy just to bottle it it's up. It's a midfield flat, isn't it? Yeah, just slow it down. <laughs> Going at half time, a couple of points up. Rocker. Burton contested with McKee. Grant had a fresh airing. Scotland. More hope than anything. Got it out. Now Roberts, quick hands. Quayle says the umpire, Robbins again. Dynak gets there first. Great tackle by Hardy, forces Dynak to handle wildly. Comes to King, King around the corner to half forward. Rawlings. Yeah. Mc McCartney is a long option. Kicks long to the goal square, Wakeman. Read it brilliantly in the end. In front of McCartney. Close to half time. 30 and a half minutes play. Cole now. Put in space on the wing. What was a kick? It was a shocking kick. Under no pressure. Can't afford to turn the ball over so easily. Stevens marks it. Half back. Squares it to Archer. And as the half-time siren sounds in what's been tight and tough, entertaining first half of football. Only nine goals kicked, but it's been an enthralling duel. And at half-time, the Kangaroos lead by two points. 5-4-34. The Collingwood 4 8 32. And the Kangaroo defence worked overtime the last 10 or 15 minutes of that second quarter. They just had the ball coming down there time and time again. But Archer, Martin, Makepeace, Colbert, they stood firm. And we can see Josh Fraser in picture there. He, he, he got a whack just on the top of the nose near the eyes and uh, just shaking him up a bit. But he'll be okay. He'll come back for the second half. He looks in a fair bit of discomfort, Josh Fraser. But at half time, it's the Kangaroos by two points. Welcome to another week of White Line Fever, the AFL's only talkback TV program. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. It's straight from the coach's mouth. We we'll certainly uh, consider Wayne. <laughs> she said to not say too much. Uh, there are things in there have given me a bit of hope and a bit of, a bit of feeling, a bit of inspiration. A superstar Tuesday edition. There's no guarantees in football. There's no doubt about our future. You approach each game as if it could be your last. We're not thinking of getting the two, you know, first draft picks. We'd rather win games. In June, Hamish dances to the same fine tune. He has a reputation to uphold. I'm only asking for an honest thing. But has he got what it takes? Tell me the truth. He may be unconventional. He promised. But he's all heart. Why did you let me take full credit for this? I think I like the real you. The delectable Hamish McBeth, 8.30 Tuesday, UKTV.
across Australia, Sky News. Sky Business Report with David Koch, exclusive to Sky News. It's black and white TV on Fox Footy Channel with the Collingwood Club Show. This is where it all happens. Well, that's the bonus, isn't it? It's good fun. Well, it means a lot to me. Chicks love him. <laughs> Wednesday night is pie night, so join us at 5.30 on Fox Footy Channel. Half time at Colonial Stadium. Saturday night football, round 13. It's the Kangaroos by two points over Collingwood. Fantastic crowd in tonight. Just about a full house. Uh, had a few problems getting in at the last minute, but uh, it's a Collingwood home game and... Uh, well, the Magpies fans will want some more, won't they, from their team? Because they're behind at the moment, but it's very tight. Well, it'll be interesting to see how they set up in the uh, in the forward line, Michael, because they went tall at the start of the game, and uh, I just felt that Cummings and Tarrant have really struggled. Josh Fraser hasn't given them a lot. Anthony Rock has looked dangerous at times, but I don't think Mick Malthouse can afford to go in with a top-heavy forward line in this second half. And Cummings' career, AFL career, could be coming to a close. Well, I think... Uh... Malthouse worked out that really Tarrant is probably best value from the goal square, particularly against someone like Archer who was just outbodying him in that first quarter, but from the goal square, using his speed as we talked about earlier, he, uh, he can be used to advantage. Let's update the Cybercoach question for tonight. Is the split round better than a complete week off? ATS Beefano, get on the SMS text message 0421 261 With all the news from the rooms at half time, let's go down to Jared Waitley. G. Quarter's pretty light on on the injury front. Uh, Josh Fraser went to the rooms at half time. He could barely open his eyes. Certainly a lot of stinging in the eyes. He got a knock late in the second quarter, just on the bridge of the nose. But he is back out with the side now. That was the incident where it happened, and uh, he was in all sorts of trouble trying to see. Came off, but he's back out there and looks like he will start this quarter. Scotty Cummings had a fair bit of work done in about the last 10 minutes on the bench of the second quarter, and he is coming to the bench now with the physio. So. He would be a genuine query to see whether he is going to continue to play out this match. No bad news for the Kangaroos. Certainly both sides were expecting a tough night. They're, they are living up to their expectations at the moment. Thanks to Jared Waitley. Well, uh, the Brisbane Lions were in a bit of trouble. They were trailed by four goals at one stage against Carlton, but they fought back in the second, uh, second quarter to lead at halftime. 8-5-53 Brisbane. Carlton 7-9-51. The Lions by two points. Headland's got three for Brisbane. And Brett Ratton has got two for the Blues. I think the Blues have spent uh, a few days up on the Gold yes, Coast. Yes, uh, must have done yep. them some good. And just having a look at uh, Steve McKee, the big ruckman, and he's rucked the entire first half. You'd expect that Josh Fraser will do some ruck work in this second half. Lecuria, he's had plenty of the ball. Buckley had Simpson for most of the first half. Uh, James Clement playing on Byron Pickett. Very handy player, Clement, because he can play on a shorter opponent like Pickett. He can also play on the big fellas. third quarter with the kangaroos two points in front burton and mckee both missed it lucky it came through like a steam train another possession for scotland that's number 17 for him here's a chance for the magpies it's inside their 50 but Harris throws his body at the ball but at the bottom of the pack was Adam Simpson. And Bethera's did throw his body at the ball. And Jess Sinclair, he uh, he wasn't as committed as Bethera's was in that contest. And he followed up Bethera's with another hard hit. Rocker towards goal. Harvey oh, did it brilliantly. Burton to Simpson. at long rocker wrestling with prestigia como cole's had a bit of the ball since he's come on he's going to be a very good player richard cole looks nicely balanced harding again got the hard ball to harvey and here come the kangaroos gets around three point easily great chase off by the fairest well, g was lucky not to be penalized king tries to escape attack harvey a second chance high to half for cole the only player there for collingwood he wastes no time, squeezes a kick in the end to McKee. No one comes to stand the muck, eventually Harding does. Well, he's waiting because he's got no one to go long to. Josh Fraser hasn't presented. Finally, Fraser's come across to the, uh, to the flank. 
And Richard Cole will go for him. Kick towards Fraser. A little push from okay. Martin. And unnoticed. Make peace. Close to the line. Harding and McKee. Oh, Harding did well in the end. With Curie out. Go ahead. At one arm pinned and should have been penalised. He was. For throwing the ball. Great tackle from Shannon Grant. The Curie's done a great job on Shannon Grant. He's only had four disposals. Kick inside attacking 50. Burton not quite. Harding is dangerous around the packs. Handball back to Grant. Sorry, to King. King kick around the body. Preston Giacomo needs to stand his ground. Count Morrell. Free kick. Gee, Scott Burns did well to uh, stop Spider Burton taking the mark there. Yes, yes he did. Horribly out to under man, wasn't he? The Price did well in the end. As Buckley takes the mark. Yeah, they're just holding up across half back because they haven't got a tall option to go to. Finally, Lockyer presents himself. But this is where Anthony Rocker and Josh Fraser, they've got to come into the action. To the wing, Birds. Now, there's Rocker trying to create something. the ball in the, up in the arms of Leon Davis. More by luck than design. Into the pocket. Mark's taken by Lockyer. And they brought that ball around at the boundary line from back pocket to forward pocket to Magpie. So good, good skill, good use. But they haven't been able to bring it into the central corridor because the Kangaroos have filled that space. Lock your kick one goal, two in the second quarter. Having an excellent game. Goes short to Tarrant. And finally, Tarrant found some space. Archer was back waiting in the goal square. They did well, Rob, just to keep that entire space in front of Lockyer free. And the key ran into it first. That was ignored. Then Tarrant, as you can see, running into the space. Yes, they did that well. Just held onto the footy and waited, didn't panic. So Chris Tarrant needs to kick the goal, and he has converted. So it's the Magpies back in front, 5-8 to 5-4. And that'll give Chris Tarrant some confidence, Robert Wills. It will, because uh, he had a horror first half, and it's just hard to work out how he got away from Glenn Archer. Because in the end, it was Makepeace who was responsible for Tarrant. And uh, a little bit of confusion back there with the kangaroos. So Collingwood back in front. By four points, Burton up high. McKee read it a little better. Comes towards Scotland. He's buried and will have a bounce. He's Scotland. Played very well for the Magpies against Fremantle at 25 possession in their last game against the Dockers. Leading possession winner for the Magpies this evening is 17. Teague sucks at four games, about 30 metres. Cole, oh, he wasn't aware of Morrell's presence. Now King, he wasn't aware of Freeborn. Great tackle. Now, he was coming back. That was interesting, Michael, back because the, the umpire nearest that didn't pay the free kick. The umpire out on the wing did. Delivers to Fraser, who kicks for Leon Davis on the lead. He marks on his chest in front of Makepeace. Due some acceleration there. Blistering speed from Leon Davis, and the kick was perfect. And Leon Davis from 45 metres. And he's got Anthony Rocker saying, set it up on top of the goal square, and I'll go for a hanger. Tarrant waiting to get into a bit of space. He's led, but Archer's gone with him. Davis intent on shooting for goal from 45. It looks good off the boat. He's kicked it. So Collingwood kicked the second goal of the third quarter, and all of a sudden they lead by 10 points. Well, Leon Davis ended up with three options. He could go long to the goal square to Anthony Rocker. He could go to Tarrant on the lead. The third option was I'll have a go myself, which he did. Just the first.
first two goals that they've got the Magpies, they've set them up with very good foot passing coming from uh, half back into that forward 50. And here come the Magpies again, the key puts them inside 50. Almost to Mark to Rocker. Soccer off the ground by Martin. Only as far as McKee has time to steady. Tarrant was being held off the ball. Dida just couldn't hang on to it. Now Tarrant onto his wrong side. Awkward kick. Lockyer concedes some ground back to Freeborn. Sells the dummy to King. Gets some space. Kicks a ripper. terrific in this game he's just drifting out of the action here he'll let Josh Fraser do the ruck work against Petri but uh, McKee has rucked unchanged for the entire two and a half quarters here he goes again Petri did it well but McKee to Cole to half forward Lockyer count underneath it almost now he gets it Trevor Ham all over the top to Fraser who can run on and kick another one sprayed it across the face 
Fields went without it. Fortunately for the Kangaroos, they had numbers deep in defence. And Colbert's kick by Shannon Grant at halfback. Cool heads prevailing in the defensive goal square for the Kangaroos. Now Sinclair has it. Plenty of space. It's a shepherd from Stevens. Although he allowed Didac through. Well played. Good chase from Didac. Free kick to Collingwood. Advantage paid for Courier. Delivers towards half forward. Fraser in front of Martin. Clever play. That's, that, no, it's not 50. Crowd calling for 50. Mickey Martin on Josh Fraser now. Martin played on Cummings in the first half. Tarrant leading. He bombs it long to the goal square. One out. Archer with strength. He's a hard man, Archer, isn't oh, he? He's so dependable. And one out in the goal square. Punched it through for a behind. And that ties by 17 points. Blood rule. And it's up the other end of the ground. And it looks like Morel. Big Beat Morel coming off. And just terrific aggressive spoiling by Glenn Archer. Thumped that through for a behind. The man in picture, Byron Pickett, he really has to lift for the Kangaroos. We showed him pre-game. He's only had two disposals, had a very lean game. Playing on Johnson, who's doing a fine job on him. At the other end of the ground, Leon Davis has really come into the action. Make peace. Not back inside 50 for Collingwood by McKee. Davis, and up and under. Archer, brilliantly done. And he finds Simpson at half back. Great football by Glenn Archer and Simpson's off. Long beyond the wing, Rocker and Presser Giacomo. Brilliantly read though by Baird, who kicks to a vacant half court. Johnson and Pickett, foot race. Johnson keeping ground, needs to keep his feet. Pickett was very good. Pickett fell over. And he's throwing. Ben Johnson, that's his name, and he moved like a Ben Johnson. He, he had to. He without, had to. Without the steroids. Yes. <laughs> and uh, As we watched, you don't often see just a foot race over 30 no, metres do, yeah. like that. Yeah. And they were both centimetre by centimetre. Well played by Johnson. Preston Giacomo gets it down, hacked out of the, of the ground by Lecuria. Scotland couldn't quite handle it. Now a chance for Robbins. Rawlings. Grant concedes and ground to Hardy. He works his way through the pack, then lost the football. Ties it up and a bounce 40 metres from the kangaroo goal. Collingwood supporters have come to life. They thought it was a free kick their way, holding onto the ball. And uh, Buckley and Simpson opposed to each other. Neither can really have, a, has had a big influence on the game to this stage. Petrie and McKee. McKee gets it down to Buckley. Lockyer comes to meet it, well played. Look, goes back inside attacking 50 for the Kangaroos. Johnson, Campbell is good under pressure, but Theris wants his right side and then kicks into King. Back up provided by Johnson, Clement. Now Buckley has space in centre wing. Normally uses the ball very well, decides to give it to Lockyer. Tarrant leads for him. Kick towards Rocker. Couldn't take the mark. Davis at the front of the pack. Free kick to Collingwood. Davis kicked it behind. Free kick to coming back to Collingwood. It'll come to Anthony Rocker. And umpire Gavin Dorr just explaining to Lee Colbert that you interfered with Rocker. This is the only distance you don't want him kicking from. Yeah, that's right. And the reason why you don't want him to kick from here, he doesn't kick through the footy. We'll just have a look. Does Colbert grab hold of him? Well, gee, there wasn't gee, much in that. that there was wasn't soft. much in that, that at was all. Soft. Nathan Buckley had a couple of very important touches in the last minute or two. He just need, he, he can kick the ball 60 metres and he needs to go back and kick it 60 metres even though he's only 25, 30 out. Nathan Buckley setting up this opportunity for Anthony Rocker. He's kicked one, comes in, a couple of steps and squeezes it through for his second. So Rocker has two and Collingwood extend their lead out to 23 points. We've played 16 minutes in this third quarter. Oh, I, I just think that's uh, no free kick. Yeah. What, for what you see all over the ground, yeah. there wasn't much in that. Yeah, it's disappointing when they do that. Byron Pickett. Byron 
think it's gone to the goal square with Ben Johnson. They've given him the entire 50-metre arc to work in, so they'll be looking for him to use his pace on the young Magpie. So the Kangaroos in trouble now at Colonial Stadium. Magpies have kicked four goals to zero this quarter. Sav Rocker to Roberts to Harvey. He's been quieter over the last 10 or 12 minutes. Inside 50. Robbins is having a break, and Dylan Smith comes into the game for the Ruse. Richard Cole's done some good things, Rob, across oh. the half-back for the Macbeth. Yeah, very impressed with him. He's, he's very good on his left foot, always tries to use the ball, and he's got a few tricks. Petri got his hand on it first. Simpson harassed to Grant. Now Stevens kicks hurriedly. Oh. Oh. And he'll claim it as a pass, but it was a fluke. Well, won't bother Brady Rawlings to line up from 45 metres out on a slight angle. And this is a very important kick for the Kangaroos. So Brady Rawlings. Brother plays for Hawthorne, Jade. First game for the year. for one behind. Gee, just judging by the crowd reaction, you just get the feeling that it's uh, a very, very pro Collingwood crowd. So that off for the Magpies. Bad miss by Rawlings from the kick in. Johnson, beautiful kick to the wing, but Ferris has found space to the 50. Rocker slipped over. Colbert slipped over. We've seen that all night. Lockyer keeps it in around the corner, puts it out on the floor. Disappointing finish in the end. I know he was under the pump, but uh, he's generally a good kick, Tarkin Lockyer, but uh, tonight he hasn't been. Makepeace switches. Sad rocker. The, the, are away. the intended to give it to Harvey eventually he did. It took a while getting there. The kick to Sinclair in front of Didac. Can the kangaroo set something up here? Just hoisted high inside attacking 50. Presta Giacomo, the sport by his own teammate, but he got it at ground level to Burns. Underground kick, gets to Clement. But yes, Clement, who grubbers it towards Freeborn. Ball close to the line. Play on the call. Archer, clever. Smith will put Sinclair under pressure. He's able to get rid of it effectively towards Rocker. He's got Rawlings inside. He ignores that and just kicks it high. Blazes away to centre half forward. Pat Mercurio close quarters. Johnson went for an ambitious bounce inside his own defence of 50. In the end, probably a little lucky. Colin were able to tie it up. Pickett coming off. Well, he's only had uh, a couple of touches and a lean night. T coming on. Only kicked the two behind Kangaroos. It's, uh, 19, 20 minutes into this third quarter. McKee. Scotland now, been a very good player here Scotland, nothing to kick to, in fact he kicks to a vacant wing position, Kangaroos will be first there just, both boundary line beats make this. kick for touch, it was perfect in the end, Byron Pickett on the interchange bench, and again McKee doing the ruck work, he's just been terrific tonight, takes it out this time, Tackle coming from Petri Buckley fighting in hard under the pack. Ties it up, bounce on the wing. So Adam Simpson's 15 disposals tonight. He's third in the AFL this year for disposals, so his output has been a little bit down, but we've still got a quarter and a half to go. Leon Davis, been fantastic since quarter time. Mark out of fresh air. That allows Josh Frazier to the pitcher, to Patheris. That's a great guard. It's taken by Dynak, and he is directly in front, 45 metres out. It was a good kick by Patheris, had depth on it. Sinclair, the kangaroo player, was always in trouble when he was running with the flight of the ball. And Didac got up first, full stretch, took the mark, and a lovely spot to put the ball in that central corridor. A 
have a look at the marks there. They've really got their game going now. First quarter, Collingwood only eight marks. This quarter so far, 18. This will make it 28 points if he can convert. Dynak has, and the Magpies are in control. So Alan Dynak gets his first. And it's out to 28 points. We'll have to produce something extraordinary from here. Yeah, good play by uh, Josh Fraser. He didn't try to kick it around the corner. He just put it out in space to a teammate. He went backwards to go forwards. And then Bathera's kick, it was just to a perfect spot. And this young fella got a good leap. Dennis Pagan, Tony Elshaw. Just pondering what the next move can be. They trail by 28 points to Kangaroos. Petri in the middle, taken by Burns. Scrambles it inside, attacking 50. Martin faded by the bounce, didn't really look, just popped it on the boot. Baird makes a contest, well played. And bounce. Jason Cloak on. I hope he goes forward, young Cloak, because he is a very good mark and very courageous. He is indeed, Rob. Baird, death touch to King. Kicks it long inside, attacking 51 out. Rocker can't hold on. Prestige Camo did brilliantly. It's been an enthralling duel that one. Of course, old teammates. Time since the Kangas have kicked a goal, 18 minute mark of the second quarter. Burns up, contesting the red contest. Simpson kicks goal with vacant goal square. Wakeman needs a good bounce. Got one in the end. Chase from McCartney. Then kicks it, gives it straight up to Sinclair, who snaps from the boundary line. Contest, Baird, he's marked it. John Baird's marked just five metres from goal. The angle is acute. And he'll be brought now around on the angle, and there's a great shot of what confronts John Baird. Well, Wakeland tried to uh, grubber the ball over the boundary line. He couldn't kick it on the full. He would have kicked it over the line and a free kick come back, but the grubber kick went straight to Jeff Sinclair, who was able to put it back to the goal square. This fellow with the ball plays mainly as a defender. Great view right behind the line, and... Misses to the near side. The idea was right to the yes. execution. So margin back to 27 points in favour of the Magpies, 24 and a half minutes into this third quarter. Last time Buckley kicked in, the uh, Magpies took it into their forward zone, kicked a goal without the Kangaroos touching the ball. Here they go again. Well, they're halfway there, Rob, as Johnson. Oop, the kick's a shocker. Yeah, bad kick. Sinclair on the chest. Here's Rawlings. From 48 metres, he has a pot shot. Only one behind. So two behinds is served to Brady Rawlings. The Kangas need goals. It's Collingwood 9-10-64. Kangaroos 5-8-38. And uh, Big Anthony going yeah. for the different boots. He's been slipping a bit like many players have on this surface. Let's get out of Jared Waitley. He's actually taking the long stops off, the screwing stops off and putting the moulders on. He's just got a trainer to go and get them for the, from the rooms for him. And so Rock is changing him the moulders, which, I don't know, Wolsey, is that a surprise? Well, it, the nylon stops, the long stops, it, this surface is very hard, so it would be treacherous and it'd be hard on your feet. Great kick from Wakeland. Johnson couldn't hold on, but he recovers well at ground level to make a contest out number two to one. Ben Johnson, who's been a very good player tonight, just turned the ball over a couple of times, as he did just a minute ago. Didn't prove costly on that occasion. Really behind from the rebound football. But been a good player. Burton tries to get it down to Smith. Fighting hard, McKee. Gee, he's been a tower of strength all night, Steve McKee. He comes from a place called Poor Punker, which is near Myrtleford, northern Victoria, and uh, he was drafted by the Tigers going back about six years ago, had a couple of years there, went to Collingwood, and this year has really come of age. Burns, 
And it's been absolutely fantastic tonight for Collingwood. Kick towards Clark will make a contest and he marks. Uh, I wanted to see him play the forward line, Clark, because he's got all the attributes to be a good forward. Handball to Buckley. Fraser can't hold on, but there is waiting at the front of the pack. Davis, oh, he couldn't quite finesse around Martin. Freeborn trying hard. It's taking a long time, Glenn Freeborn. Oh, he's not penalised. I thought he may have been. Shannon Grant in there. Glenn Freeborn, I think, relieved that he was able to do enough just to tie the ball up inside Collingwood's attacking 50. And Fraser almost takes this mark, just uh, tries to take two bites at the cherry, misses it, and uh, he'd be a bit disappointed with that, but gee, Cloak's mark was a beauty. He's playing now on Colbert. Fraser beaten by Burt. Down to, and there's a free kick coming back. Yeah, umpire away from the action saw it. He sprinted down there to give the free kick. It will go to King for holding in the contest. Well, Kangaroo's unlucky not to be paid advantage there. Here's make peace to set a half forward. Finds Sinclair. Hasn't got much to kick to. They're all running madly back inside their 50. The Kangaroo's bared in front. Harding, can he manufacture something? Cole for Collingwood, and the Magpies out of danger again. Scotland dribbles one towards the boundary line. Nicely done. So and throw in. That dribble kick has become uh, an arch form now in football. You just can't afford to kick it over the line. Mick Malthouse would be pretty happy with this quarter. He would be desperate to make sure the Kangaroos don't kick a goal in the uh, last minute or two. Collingwood have kicked five goals to zero this quarter. So the Magpies down by two points at half time now lead handsomely by 26 points 9-10-64 to 5-8-38 well it is a handsome lead Steve because in a, a low scoring game to be able to come out in that third quarter and put five goals on the board and the opposition not get a goal it is a, a real advantage and uh, Dennis Pagan has got some worries he hasn't got any forwards who are presenting and marking Byron Pickett's off his game so he'll have to set his forward line up Fox Footy Channel and Nissan are giving you the chance to win a fantastic new Nissan X-Trail TI manual with the winner's Mark of the Week competition. This great prize includes on-road costs, car registration and delivery, all valued at $38,400. There's also a season 2003 Fox Footy Channel subscription to be won each week. Fox Footy Channel's panel of experts has selected three marks from the latest round of AFL. When to simply decide which mark you think is the best, call 1900 966 350 and follow the prompts. If the mark that you select matches the winner's mark of the week, you'll automatically go into the draw to win a 12-month season 2003 Fox Footy Channel subscription. At the end of the season, you'll have a chance to select the winner's mark of the year to win the Nissan X Trail. So here we go. Mark one. Comes in. High kick to centre wing, hard one to mark that one, but a beautiful mark taken there to the left, that is a scream, that is a legend. Mark two. They're about to go forward, high kick got by Gilby, only went about 35, 40 metres and Carr's taken a courageous grab on his chest. Mark three. To extend the margin back to 28 points, drop punt, drops a little short. Bentley oh. by Lachlan, mark of the day. Call 1-900-966-350 now and make your selection. Voting closes midnight each Monday and the winner will be announced on the winners next Sunday. Tarrant was being held off the ball. Dida just couldn't hang on to it. Now Tarrant onto his wrong side. Awkward kick. Lock here. Concede some ground back to Freeborn. Sells the dummy to King. Gets some space. Kicks a ripper. Three-quarter time. Saturday Night Football at Colonial Stadium. This round 13 clash and the Magpies headed for their ninth win of the season. They lead by 26 points at the last break. 9-10-64. The Kangaroos 5-8-38. And, uh, well, they'll need a near miracle here. Michael and Robert, the Kangaroos, to get up and get the points tonight. Well, the, they will. The Kangaroos have been very competitive, but they've fallen down in their forward line. They haven't had a big forward able to kick goals. Sav Rocker, Digby, Morrell. Uh, McCartney, their tall forward options, haven't been able to kick goals. Fresh legs, always important at this time of the night. And O'Brien and McGough, who have played 
parts, particularly McCoff in the early part, still plenty of, uh, well, plenty of, hasn't spent much time on the ground, so uh, he's certainly an option for Mick Malthouse in this final quarter. Yes, and O'Brien, and we saw Mick Malthouse does that pretty well. Uh, he always makes sure that come the last 30 minutes, he's got one or two players, midfielders, who've got plenty of run left in the legs. Let's go down to Jared Waitley. Well, callers, just on that topic, the use of the interchange bench, Dennis Pake has made 27 changes in three quarters to Mick Malthouse's nine, so just using a, the bench one-third uh, of the time compared to Dennis. The Magpie Army, gee, didn't they find voice during that quarter, Robert? You suggested that the crowd was one-sided. It is very one-sided. Magpie fans have had a couple of weeks with their team in Perth and then the bye last week, and they certainly made up for it in that quarter. The news of their win, if it happens tonight, will be tempered by Scott Cummings, who is injured again. This was just his fifth game of an injury-riddled season. He appears to be feeling severe discomfort, perhaps in his right hip or high up on his right leg, and is now limping noticeably. Won't take any further part tonight, and you would expect we'll spend yet another couple of weeks on the sidelines. Thanks, Jared Waitley. O'Brien going to the bench. Anthony Rocker going to the bench uh, with Cummings. Just wonder if O'Brien is fully fit, because uh, if he was right, you'd think that he'd be out there in the thick of it. Cloak will go to the forward line for the Magpies. Three-quarter time at the Gabba. Brisbane by a point. Gee, Gee that's a great effort by Carl. great effort. Plenty said during the week. Plenty said by the little by brown one person, actually. <laughs> the little brown <laughs> He said it all. 24 scoring shots to 20, so they've obviously had a lot of the play. So Dennis Pagan just uh, milking every last second of this three-quarter time break. And I was just thinking at three-quarter time, Steve, that uh, Byron Pickett could be the man who could set them alive. Just the isolate quarter. them in the goal, in the goal yeah, through. But uh, Byron Pickett's coming to the interchange bench, so that's not going to happen. McCartney alongside him. Petri and John Baird. So have a look at the uh, kangaroo forward line and they've got Sav, Sinclair, Shannon Grant, Morrell, Anthony Stevens. So it's a quarter time, it was the Magpies by a point, at half time it was the Kangaroos by two points, but thanks to a five goal to nothing third quarter, it is the Magpies starting the last term, leading by 26 points. Harvey's influence in that third quarter diminished. He'd, he'd been averaging 10, 11 possessions in the first and second quarters. He had six in the third term. Glenn Freeborn putting the brakes on him. But he's an important player. He's a good player. Just slipping out of the, the centre square for this first bounce. So here we go for the last quarter. Kangaroos looking to keep in touch with the top eight. The Magpies, well, as the season wears on, trying to submit that vital double chance. Down it goes. It's McKee against Burton. One by McKee. Coming through is Cole. Johnson's had a great second half. T. Robbins can get a handle on it. Now the ball's in dispute. Simpson dived on it. And we've got a stalemate here. And we'll have a ball up. Bench, O'Brien, Rocker, McGough and Scott Cummings. We wouldn't expect Cummings to come back and play. So Pickett's warming up on the sidelines, Robert, so he may yet. Oh, I'd, have, pick, I'd have Pickett on. I think that uh, to kick five or six goals, which they have to do, you'd need Byron Pickett out there. Harvey on defensive 50 to Martin. To King. Sinclair's got the set. And got the free kick. Magpie fans don't like it, but it's fair enough. Jess Sinclair. There's Pickett. Bangs it long. It's a good kick to Rocker. Krista Giacomo did very well under pressure and Cole once again mops up for the Maggies. He uses the ball so well, Richard Cole. Matheris towards Cloak against T. Lockyer just hacks it forward. Inside attacking 50. Oh, Davis overruns it. Dinas providing the back. Oh, loose player in the goal square is Tarrant. Can he pick it up? Tarrant, he kicks it goal and pops it through. So Chris Tarrant opens the final quarter with a goal in his second. And Collingwood have kicked the last seven goals of the match and now lead by a comfortable 32 points.
and they took that ball from uh, the defensive 50 to the forward 50, kicked off the ground there by Lockyer, and you'll see Davis slips over, and uh, Didac, terrific pick up, and then a 25 metre handball to the goal square for Tarrant to be able to put it through. So what can Dennis Pagan conjure? That's the Magpies in control by a very handy 32 points. Cole again. Clonget back inside their 50. Cloak. Here's Leon Davis under the right boot. Right foot snapped by Leon. Not quite making the distance. And Archer sees it over the line. Leon Davis and Tarrant, they're starting uh, all the attacking moves from the goal square, just leading out from the goal square. This little fella been terrific in the second half. So it's deep in Collingwood's attacking territory. Burton against Fraser. Burton got it to Colbert. To Hardy. Backs himself. Goes straight down the middle. Rocker. Takes a good mark. There's no one inside the Ruse 50. Byron what will he Pickett. do? Byron Pickett sprinting to the goal square. So Sav Rocker from 75 metres unloads a big drop punt. Pickett, great chest mark. That was not easy. Yes, you can see it happening. They, they set up that space and like to have their players running towards goal. And Byron Pickett knew that as soon as Sav took the mark, he was off. He would have run 50 metres to mark that ball. Flat chat towards the goal square. Thought O'Bree, not O'Bree, McKee. Thought McKee could have got a hand on it. So Pickett to run around here, improve the angle, and kicks a goal. Two goals to Byron Pickett. And Big Sap goes back. Thumping kick, that goes every bit of 55 metres, and Big McKee, Collingwood Ruckman, he'd be disappointed with that effort. Should have got a hand on it, forced it through for a rush behind. The Magpies by 26 points. Four and a half in the final turn goal. And that's the Collingwood goal square. Tarrant and Davis, plenty of space to lead into. Margin back to 26 points, Kangaroos. Robbins just well, kicks it really toward the wing in space. Buckley, Morell will get there first. He overruns it. Chance for Wakeland. Chips it cleverly. Lockyer. Now he's got a loose player in free ball. Couldn't get it to him. Put in smother coming from King. Robbins kept his hands free. Boundary line was too close. So Collingwood almost away there. Great intercepted interception by David King. Wing and half forward for the Magpies. Burton and Fraser. Burton on the, on the bounce. Ineffective. Now Simpson. Kicks it towards half of Cole. Should have been impressed with his game. Short. Player is Scotland of clever skills. Now he's played on. Now the handball effective. Johnson needs to be good. Scotland goes back and gets it. Scrambles a handball to Burns on attacking 50. Kicks across the ground, Didat. He's a thumping kick, Alan Didat. We need to kick this 55 metres plus. Scotty Burge is telling him just to settle down. You can see Didat, once he took the mark, his eyes were darting everywhere, trying to give the ball off if somebody presented themselves. Scotty Burge, the senior player, said, just go back and have a long kick. From 55. Drop punt at the distance, not the accuracy. So margin out to 27 points in favour of the Magpies. Six minutes in the attendance this evening. 48,288. Great crowd. Lecuria to Petheris. Oh, the pass to Freeman just didn't come off. Harvey's run down by Davis on the right boot. It's a behind to Leon Davis. He's kicked one goal, four for the evening. Dangerous, isn't he? Every time he gets it, the crowd lifts. Exciting player to watch. And the other one is Richard Cole. Gee, I was going to say he's going to be a very good player. He already is a good player. Well, the ball comes back in for the ruse. Burton couldn't mark. And we'll have a ball up. So seven minutes is ticked over in the final term. It's 
Collingwood. 28 point lead. Just need to get the next two goals for Kangaroos to have any chance. One goal each this quarter. Burton snared it. But couldn't get a handball away. McKee did to Didak. Who keeps it long. No one home. And behind to Didak. So another goal here for the Magpies would just about seal the issue in a low scoring game. Uh, there's still a breath of life for the Kangaroos. They'll make peace to bring it back in. Loose player, Teague. 29 points to margin, so five straight kicks. Can they build some momentum high? Well, he kicked to a contest where Cole will play out number the Kangaroos. Batheris with the mark. Loose player at half four Burns. Too much carry on the kick. Didak. Gee, in slow motion, Didak to Burns. Fends off T, Flecuria from 40, stands and delivers. Misses. Well, they could have buried the Kangaroos in the last five minutes, but they've just missed on three or four occasions. I still think they've got it under control, but uh, it could have been all over. Harvey to Rawlings. He's trying to create something, the ruse. There from the side. The key almost. Now quick hands. Comes out to Morell. Shannon Grant has been quiet. To bed. Into the middle. Simpson. Now King. King thumps it long. But Wakeland has got his name on it from the side. Fists it towards the goals. And we've got to throw in. There's a kick and hope there from the Kangas. Yes, they took the ball sideways from the wing across to the other wing. Finally, King went long because they didn't have anyone in the forward 50. They had to wait for Big Sav to get back there. Pick it. Now Lockyer for Collingwood. Hugs the boundary line. Throw in about 60 out from the Kangaroos goal. Harvey, the leading possession getter on the ground. He's got 30 for the Kangaroos. And 22 to Scotland for Collingwood. Discipline forward, staying back in the space, not getting sucked up into the action, Davis and Tarrant. Interesting contest between Buckley and Simpson. Buckley's had 15 disposals, Simpson's had 18. Chancellor Cole, an effective kick. Gets it to the wing though, Harvey. He's had a quiet second half compared to his blistering first half. Rawlings to Martin. Back to Rawlings. Collingwood are forcing the Kangaroos back. They're now at half four. Harvey over the top to Martin in space on the wing. Harding. Now the Kangaroos can set something up. He takes them on Harding. Well played. Runs to 45. Kick lets him down. He's got some touch it in for a point. Well, the Kangaroos need something like that. Just He just took them on. Took three of them on. Margin back to 29 points in favour of Collingwood. Magnificent kick to Bethares, who got the free kick. Advantage paid, though, it's coming back to Rupert Bethares. Beautiful kick by Buckley. Bethares to Lecuria. Can he use the football? It's out in front of Tarrant. It's a great kick. Well, that's the perfect bit of play, isn't it? Lecuria on the lead, on the burst to uh, Tarrant on the run. Tarrant into the goal! for Collingwood tonight. And again, the perfect sit. Left early, got over the top of Mick and kept control all the way down. And more importantly, marked it equal distance between the goalposts. So it's directly in front. Every footballer's dream to take a hanger in the goal square and Josh Fraser will kick a goal. the difference at the 12 minute mark of the final turn and it's all over.
of a mother shouting now, you'd think. Now, Tarrant would have... He would have covered 30 metres to take that mark. Lecuria was able to hit him with the pass. It was a lovely kick by Lecuria. And Tarrant very quick to move it on to the goal square. And don't the fans love that? Gee, it's a good mark. Fraser off the ground after that spectacular mark. Anthony Rocker back on. So Collingwood lose nothing there. McKee again puts his body in. Paceras, who's been very good since coming on the ground early in the game. Burns, Scotland, Collingwood away again. Left foot kick was ordinary off the boot. Tarrant takes it on the bounce. Davis, Didac deep in the pocket. What can he conjure up here? Bars around the corner. Oh, gee, just kicked it brilliantly. Couldn't quite find the big opening. And in the end, the kangaroo defence were equal to the task. Margin, 36 points in favour of the Magpies. 13 minutes in final turn. So Harley's away for the ruse. Only as far as McKee has had a great night. Back inside 50. Terrific kick to Didac. And they're running over the top of them down the back pose. Didac will line up from 35 metres out at a slight angle. Oh. Kick it one, and this should be his second. It's interesting, Didax had a very good uh, second half, and his opponent, Shannon Grant, I just don't think Grant paid him the respect that he should have. Uh, Didax, virtually an unknown player, hasn't played a lot of games, and sometimes they can get under your guard. Just 11 disposals for Shannon Grant tonight. This is number 12 for Didax. From 35. impressive second half for Collingwood since the major break the Kangaroos have kicked one goal and the Magpies have kicked eight yeah, they've been terrific since half time and uh, you see Didak in space and Shannon Grant's been dragged by his coach and the coach says get on the phone you must pay respect to your opponents Shannon Grant on the phone to the coach. Dennis Pagan would be telling him, uh, you've let us down, you haven't played tight enough, Didax had too much ball. Almost a soccer environment inside Colonial Stadium. Collingwood fans finding voice. Bathurus, O'Brien, who spent a lot of time on the interchange bench. Sinclair did well to intercept. He's tied up, though, and a bounce at centre-half forward for the Kangaroos. A couple of the Kangaroo players, like Grant and uh, David King. King's been on Lockyer for uh, most of the game. They back themselves a bit, and uh, if the opposition are getting more of the ball, well, their opponents could be very dangerous. They just don't play tight enough. Harvey eventually just socket it off the ground. Rocker, Preston G. Como has been his master tonight. Simpson, little snap at goal. Pickett fell over. Clement, grabbed around the legs. Buckley, brilliant smother coming from Simpson. What a jewel that's been. Buckley has had 16 disposals and Adam Simpson has had 19 so neither player having an enormous impact on the game just about a break even isn't it Kangaroos deep into attack Rocker, oh brilliantly sharked by Simpson, snap around the body just misses with his 20th possession so margin back to 41 points in favour of the Magpies still plenty of time, we've only played 16 minutes in this final turn Buckley doing the kicking in, and uh, why not? He's the best kick in the side. Collingwood cheer squad starting to enjoy the night. <laughs> Gee, Lecuria receives a lot of handballs because he's a power runner. Just gets to good, good spots, and uh, his teammates give it to him, and he runs as hard in the final quarter as he does in the first. But Ferris to half four. There he is, still running down the ground, Lecuria. Great effort, put his body on the line, won the football for the Magpies. Rocker goes short to Didac. There's a couple of 1%ers on the balls. Oh, just terrific. And uh, Shannon Grant will be sitting on the bench saying, well, he's too good for the next bloke who went out there. But good unselfish football there. But, gee, Lecuria does cover enormous ground. And big Anthony, good vision, spears the pass in. 
and Didak, who missed a couple of uh, shots on the run, has been pretty good with the set kicks. Kick 2-2, two -two, Alan Didak. All in the second half. So he's going to line up only 30 metres out on a slight angle. And with his skills, he should slot it through. And he makes no mistake. Didak gets his third. Collingwood get their 13. So they're creaming him now, the Maggies. 13, 15, 93, 6, 10, 46. And, uh, well, it's really turned into a one-sided contest, Robert. Yeah, Jim McCurry was great there just to force the spill. And, of course, uh, the Magpies cleaned up and were able to kick the goal. But it's been a nine goal to one second half. say will someone get on diet <laughs> back in the center mckee who's been absolutely superb tonight for collingwood steve mckee secondary bounce anthony stevens who's been relatively quiet and teague is playing on didact now 14 possessions for anthony stevens petrie burns johnson who's been good tries to force his way through can't ball up Magpies led by a point at quarter time trail by two at half time but kicked five goals to nil in that third quarter to lead comfortably with the final break Colbert to Harvey accelerated away from the Collingwood forward line kick towards the wing to Buckley and well played by Harvey who gave the ball up but then followed up and forced Buckley over the boundary line and some frustration Nathan Buckley who's been a contributor centre breaks in favour of the Magpies and very effective McKee just putting his body in front of Burton Simpson Petrie he does that a lot up. Simpson he comes from behind and catches the boundary throw in Buckley was awake to it he tried to put a block on him and uh, Simpson was able to slip through. Interesting possessions per goal, 41.7 for the Kangaroos. They're usually averaging about uh, 19 possessions per goal. Yes, yes, they've, they've been Four forced doubles. wide and a lot of pressure put on them. They've had uh, disposals, but not effective ones. And they just haven't had a dominant tall forward. Oh. They're usually one of the most efficient teams inside their 50. Not tonight, and that's due to Collingwood's pressure. Gee, Baird caught one from Aubrey. Yep. <laughs> After play, but nothing too serious. Didn't like the treatment, though. To Sinclair. Harding. Good tackle by Burns. Again, forces the turnover. But Ferris used his body well. Cloak. Oh, little gift to the Ferris. <laughs> Great tackle. Play on, says the umpire. Colbert. Caught high. Advantage paid. Robbins. There's a wrestle on behind. Nothing much in that. As the umpire comes to break it up. Doing the crumbing was Sinclair to Harvey. Possession number 36 for Brett Harvey. But he's blazed away. It wasn't his best kick for the night. It's out on the full. Just keeps going, doesn't he? 36 possession, six marks, inside 50, 10 times. Gee, and a couple of goals. Leon Davis has a panic out there on that wing. He certainly does. Confronted by King. Doesn't try and get around him. Just kicks to half four in the lead of Rocker. The Anthony variety. Now, um, Martin was well over the mark, and Pydor calls him back. Sensible umpiring. She's a long way from goal. He'll kick from 65 metres. The crowd willing him Torby. on. Kick it, Torby. They're willing him on. He goes for it. <laughs> Wobbles it to the top of the goal square, T. <laughs> Mark's comfortably on his chest. Didn't get onto it. He still went 55 metres. Robbins. Links up with Stevens. Draws a play into Roy, put him under the pump because O'Brien was waiting. Fortunately, gets back to Stevens. McCartney, Harvey, another possession. Drives to half fort Baird in front of Cole Marks within kicking range. So John Baird, a chance to some respectability back into the scoreboard for the Kangaroos. That's an interesting stat, Michael. Goals from Marks. Colling would have kicked eight goals from Marks. The Kangaroos, just the two. And uh, we've mentioned it before, their tall forwards, Morrell, McCartney, 
big sav just haven't been able to get their hands on the ball. Baird kicks high to the goal square contest. Pressure Giacomo stood up. As you can see, the five-minute warning, five minutes of actual game time left in this match here at Colonial Stadium. But the Magpies in control. Dennis Pagan would be bitterly disappointed with this second half. Yeah, they pride themselves on uh, fighting out games and to have only kicked the one goal is uh, not typical of a kangaroo side. O'Brie. His target's Rocker. Nice kick by O'Brie. A Rocker plays on for Theris. Goes long. <laughs> Leon Davis. Polax is a pony. Terrell going to kick a goal, but it won't be allowed. He'll come back and it'll be a free kick to the Roos. As Anthony Rocker has a break, Josh Fraser back on. Definite free kick against Leon Davis. Collingwood I think he might have flown a little bit too early. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Gee, courageous effort by Teague. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? He's a good goer, Teague. Gee. So make peace with the free kick. Inside the last five minutes. And it's Collingwood on their way to a very big win against the Kangaroos. Colbert, how have you rated his game, Robert? Uh, I think Lee Colbert started off the game pretty well. He, he just doesn't make much happen when he gets it. He hasn't got any pace, so he always just dishes off a handball. Hasn't got the confidence to break free and back himself. Kangaroos a chance here. Stevens threads the handball. Simpson just kicks it high more in hope than anything Cole just goes back comfortably marks dangerous kick towards Wakeland well played by Rawlings Clement there to assist good tackle by Pickett McKee dribbles it towards the line Burns sees it over so Collingwood got out of it in the end, out of trouble in the end. Boundary throw into right half forward for the Kangaroos. Lee Colbert's had his hands full all night. He, he's played on Anthony Rocker for most of the night. A little bit on Josh Fraser, and now he's on Jason Cloak. An effective rut play with McKee. That's another possession. Sinclair went in hard. The, they are a tough team, the Magpies. In close, in the pack situations, they hit in hard, they tackle, they're desperate, they smother. They really do work for each other. Well, they just ground down one of the hardest teams in the comp, haven't they? They have, yeah. Oh, this, is, this is a very significant win. McKee. Rawlings now inside attacking 50. Rocker and Prestige Como. Prestige Como knocks it to the line. Still in. He emerges with a bounce, if you don't mind. Clement. Now, loose player. Lockyer. Almost tried to knock that onto Cole. They'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Cole, casual bounce. The Courier, the players running everywhere for Collingwood, now O'Brien, couple of bounces, runs to 40, drop punt on its way, Davis at the bat, oh he got up again, boundary throw up the free kick again against Davis, Chris Tarrant not too happy with O'Brien, <laughs> he's gone for the big hanger, put his hands on the back, held the jumper of Makepeace, yep. Bit of showtime. Tarrant has yeah, produced a beautiful lead that O'Brien ignored him. This will be their eighth win in ten games, the Maggies. But they are a legitimate premiership contender. You know, we all talk about Port and Brisbane, but uh, they're up there with Essendon as a real chance. T for the Kangaroos. To the wing. Simpson. That's a free kick, no. Umpire let it go. And we'll have a ball up. Kangaroos half forward line. 93 plays 47. We've said it a few times, they've dominated the second half. They've kicked nine goals, Collingwood, to the Kangaroos one. McKee against Petri. Harvey again to Rawlings. Sinclair. King to Harvey. Did it well. This is position number 38 for Harvey. And it's a good one. Shannon Grant can go on and kick a goal. And he's hit the woodwork. Brett Harvey, 27 oh. kicks, 12 handballs, 39 disposals. 
You don't see many players uh, just get 40, do you? Just wonderful effort. He had a quiet patch in the third quarter, if you like, where he only had about seven possessions, but his first half was sensational. He virtually runs on the ball for four quarters, hardly ever comes off. But that, that's exceptional in today's game. Most of the midfielders spend some time on the bench. Wakeland in from the side. Robbins, who's tried half of the Kangaroos. It's tied up. Another bounce. Ben Robbins has had 20 possessions. A lot of teams play up in Brisbane, play uh, Brisbane at the Gabba and then come back and struggle the next week. Well, they were pretty good last week, the Kangaroos, but they've been really flat tonight. And the boundary thrown, particularly after half time. They really, it's an enthralling first half. It's tight, tough, not a lot of goals scored. But since half time, the Magpies have dominated Colbert. Pokes it forward, ball bouncing. Free Still kick. make the line free kick. And scored us. To bed. Against Wakeland. So, good bit of ruck work by... Uh, yeah, good bit of ruck work by Sapp to hit it over the back at the uh, ruck contest. And Colbert awake to it. He came running through. Got the quick kick to the goal square and the free kick paid to John Baird. So, John Baird debut year has just kicked the one goal in his 10 games kick one earlier in the quarter comes in directly in front and pops it through for the kangaroos so the kangaroos get one back but unfortunately for kangaroo fans it's all too late and the margin back to 39 points in favour of the Magpies play, play, play 29 minutes in this final turn and Wakeland just hanging on the bed there looked like a free kick so consolation goal for the Kangaroos to bed Robbins, Harvey, possession number 40 for Brett Harvey, to Sinclair, who can go on and kick a goal from 45 metres, and Sinclair pops it through. First goal with Jess Sinclair for the evening, and without wanting to be repetitive, you've got to tip your hat tonight to Brett Harvey. Oh, he's just been magnificent, Has his reflexes are so good, and even the way he gets that ball in heavy traffic, have a look at this. Hits the deck, bang on it, accelerates and lifts his eyes, sees his teammate in a bit of space and Sinclair able to play on and kick the goal. So margin back to 33 points. Biggest margin, biggest lead in the match by Magpies is 47, so Kangaroos have kicked the last two. Close to full time, 30 minutes played. This final quarter, Petri takes it out, tackle from McKee. Bar McBurney calls for it. He's persisted with the Glenn Freeman on the tag. Great win to the Magpies. Final score here at Colonial Stadium. Collingwood 13 15 93. Defeat of the Kangaroos 8 12 60. In what was a superb second half of football by the Magpies. Yes, it was a great win for them. Now, they're in good form. I think the break came at a good time. They were able to uh, freshen up. They've come back to Melbourne after spending time in Darwin. We see uh, the two captains go and congratulate each other. That's good to see Anthony Stephen so highly respected in the footy world. But uh, Tarrant had a pretty lean night. He played on Archer. To his credit, he never gave up and was able to get into the game in the second half. Darrell Wakeland at fullback goes to the other fullback. Mickey Martin shakes his hand. But uh, a wonderful win for the Magpies, and uh, they're on track to finals footy. Let's go down to Jared Waitley with one of the stars tonight for the Magpies, Stephen McKee. Well, Stephen, just about the perfect start to the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. We had the break last week, and that was we sort of thought after the break we'll start the season fresh again. So we, our uh, first half was pretty tight. We, we come home, which was pretty good. And yeah, the turnaround after halftime in the third quarter was remarkable. Did you feel a bit flat early? Well, the Kangaroos really hard at it. Yeah, no, Kangaroos are hard at it. They're always hard at it. We probably after the week off. Uh, probably get a few cobwebs out of that, but we, we probably won't run in the right place and stuff like that. And then we've got our game plan going, which is good. Your own form all night uh, in the first ruck. Did you enjoy that? 
Yeah, no, it's good. Spent some time in the middle on that and get a few kicks around the ground, which is good. So it helps out Fraze and uh, pegs up forward so they can run around, so it's working quite well. Is the belief growing in this side that you really are a top side? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we just want to keep going and not get too much ahead of ourselves. But, yeah, the belief's starting to get there. Good on you, Steve. Well, thank, thank you. Stephen McKee, all night in the ruck. And he's growing, isn't he, as a, as a player in the competition? Yes, well, quite a few of them. Yeah, Richard Cole's another, Didac. Uh, there's quite a few of them who are making names for themselves. So Simon Preston, here, come on. Well, Simon, you're a mean defence, only giving up a few goals again tonight. Are you priding yourselves on that? Yeah, well, that's what we, we've tried to do over the last few years. I think if you go back on history, you'll see that the best defensive side often wins the grand final. So we can try and stick to that. Hopefully it will take us some way to go in there. That sounds like something Mick's really drummed in here. Yeah, oh, well, he's, he's always been to try and get a good defence. And at the moment, we're doing pretty well. And hopefully we can just keep holding out for the rest of the year. Good on you. Well done. Enjoy it. Thanks, sir. Talking grand finals, Robert. Nothing wrong with that? No. Uh, Look, I'm sure that uh, they'll keep a lid on it, but they are a very, very good side, this Collingwood outfit. As good as a side, they believe in themselves. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's Jason Cloak in picture. He's come on. Richard Cole, Didac, Lecuri has improved. Wakeland settled in at fullback particularly well for them. Uh, Nathan Buckley didn't play a dominant game. Well, he, has, he hasn't been a dominant player for about a month, and that's a good sign, yeah. because in days gone by, it would be Buckley who would have to be best of field for the Maggies to play real good football. Uh, they've got a forward line that can share the responsibility. Anthony Rocker and, of course, Tarrant. And Josh Fraser spent most of the game on the forward line. He's dangerous up there as well. And they've got a few players like O'Brien who can still improve and run back into form. So things are going along pretty well for them. They certainly are. So Collingwood defeat the Kangaroos by 33 points to win their ninth game for season 2002. Footy Wednesday. Bob Davis, Kevin Bartlett, Doug Hawkins and Tony Shaw reminisce about the good old days on Grumpy Old Man. Tradition's gone in the game now, so it's great to look back. At 8.30, footy legend Ron Barassi presents unforgettable moments from the Fox Footy Vault. Oh, you're guilty! Glamour and glitz or the domestic pits. Find out on Living With. If you think being a footballer is tough, you should try living with one. With the grumpy, the greatest and the glamorous, this Wednesday you can't afford to miss Fox Footy Channel. Overwork. Listen, we're trying to help you, okay? Underpaid. You get to the point you think, I've just had enough. And unappreciated. We have to clean that off the way. A brand new series that takes a candid look at the nursing profession. Yeah. Nurses on the Lifestyle Channel. From the back pocket to full forward and beyond, Fox League teams is the best start to your weekend in football. So if you're going to play a Matthew Lappin, you're just going to wear him like a second skin. This will be last man standing. All the ins, the outs, the matchups, and the maybe. That's a super strong side. This bloke has been gone about four times a day. Join me, Anthony Hudson, and the panel. One of them's going to cut loose and go berserk. And the beard is back. Get that off. <laughs> I've lost it. Fox League teams, 8.30 Thursday night on Fox Footy Channel. Want to be better at footy? Watch Oz kicking around. Tips and tricks you can try and plenty of fun with the Oz Kick team. Coming up next on Fox Footy Channel. Well, Collingwood marches on in season 2002. They won the first quarter here tonight against the Kangaroos by a point. Kangaroos just in the second quarter, but the Magpies took control in the third term, winning that by 28 points, and they uh, went on to put some icing on the cake, winning the last quarter. The final margin, 33 points. For the Magpies, three to Didac, two to Freeborn, two to Tarrant, two to Rocker, two to Fraser, a single to Davis, two to Burton, Pickett and Harvey were the major goal scorers for the Kangaroos. Sinclair and Baird also chipped in late in the last quarter. But Collingwood home by 33 points. <laughs>